Hello, one and all. Thank you for tuning in from beautiful Uptown Burbank. Harmon Town is now in session. Let's welcome to the stage the game master, Spencer Crittenden. As he bounds to the stage nimbly like a mountain goat with his bag of holding things. Hello, I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Good to be back in town with you all. Let's hear from your mayor of Harmon Town, Mr. Dan Harmon. Oh, yeah. 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 Wrap it off the top of my head like butter top bread. It's coming out at the top of the show. It's going to help your mind and your body and soul grow. I'm a motherfucking rap master. I saw your mama's ass and blasted her with my penis, but it was consensual. Oh, shit. It was more than that. It was sensual. I took her out to Great America. It's a theme park. Oh, uh, 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 We had a good time. We had a pretty good time. Excuse me? What's going on out there? Oh. It's Shrab. All right, cut the music. Shrab is just haranguing you from the background? I don't know. I think he's, he's, he's haranguing someone else so loudly that it sounded like he was haranguing the show. Well, it sounded like that was more than consensual, that it was actually achieved sensual. Yeah, that's kind of cheating it rhyme-wise. <laughs> but not politically. Uh, Her name wasn't Suela. Her name was Consuela. I got, I got into uh, the Uber to come here tonight. Uh, and... Uh, you still taking those Ubers, huh? All right, I got to work on that. I got to take lifts. I don't know what it is. It's like a weird, I don't know. I don't know what I'm clinging to. I think it's just the, I think it's the, the Ubers in Los Angeles, they're like big vehicles with guys that are like, yeah, it's the it's the social thing. It's the distance. Like the I took a I the last time I took a lift I told the story, I think, at least I know I told it on Twitter. It, like, it, it, the guy didn't, he, I was like, I, you know how I sit with my foot tucked under my butt? The guy was like, he spent the first half of the ride complaining about how the uh, area was being gentrified. Uh, and uh, then the second half of the ride was consumed by this weird moment where he asked me to not put my foot on his upholstery. It was like a, like a, it was like a not a good car. Were you taking regular Lyft? Yeah, it you, wasn't like no, Lyft, no, yeah. uh, should, Lyft asshole or. You should, you should be taking Lyft hot shots. It was. I mean, this guy was. You know what? He may have accepted the fare from the regular Lyft. Maybe he's usually only available to Lyft hot shot. But it was like I. I, 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 I guess I shouldn't use that as an excuse. Like, like lots of Lyft drivers are. But it was like Jesus Christ, man. Like there's something. There's some line you cross with Lyft, and I think this is probably an LA thing. It just seems like Uber continues to be basically Armenian limo, limo drivers who are like making money. Um, uh, in their spare time, and it's not that they're. Do you get black car or do you get like regular Uber? I got, I get, I Uber get, I get, I get, I get the, I get the like, I get the fancy thing because yeah, well, I, yeah. you, you, because you, I just, I just the distance. It's the emotional distance. I just wherever I'm going, I just want to be left alone for the ride, you know. Mm -hmm. I just, I put my earphones in, and there's a little small talk, you know, like tonight, halfway, halfway there. Uh, how did he phrase it? The guy said. Um, Let's take a look here. He said, "You go to the Starbucks." Well, that, that was him making small talk. Like, yeah, do you like do you, do you do you like to do things? Like, yeah, I think he was probably saying like, "Why are you driving 15 miles to a Starbucks? <laughs> Isn't, aren't there nine of them around your house?" And he's like, "Nah, it's a Starburns." Ah. Uh, he's like, "Oh." Did he did he make a five stars? <laughs> you make a five stars. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Well, they always make five stars or whatever. Now it's like, there's got to be a, yeah, I don't know. There's no better way to do that either, right? Like, it, 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 you, it, the only time that you, it, these, it's like you pick up your phone and you're going to, you're going to call a ride and then you have to go through this like deposition about your last ride, which was probably two days ago. Did 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 Armand do a good job? Like, uh, did you do? And now there's like tipping and all this shit. And I'm not complaining about anything. That's the good news. Like, I'm so I'm so I'm so 
low. I don't know. Low is not the word. I'm Schraub. Like, I'm like, you know, remember how Schraub yeah. was two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of in that Schraub zone. What, you a little bit of a funk? It might be because Schraub came over today. That's maybe, a good thing, right? Maybe I got Schraub. Do you think he, he, he flung some Schraubens on you? Maybe I'm coming down from John Mayer. Whoa! How about that show? Let's talk about let's talk about our show. I know. Oh I, I, yeah! I, I go away, and and all of a sudden you have John Mayer on your show. That guy's body's a wonderland. <laughs> Did you listen to the to the episode? I listened to uh, like probably half of it. Hmm. <laughs> it, it has the Steve Levy seal of approval. Levy, yeah, Levy's, Levy's, Levy, Levy feels, and I don't know who's supposed to be insulted by this, but I can tell he thinks like. Now that John Mayer's been on, like we're six months from Book DMB coming on. Band. Yeah, maybe we could get advice on on how to make a Wikipedia from them. Uh, can I yeah. can I embarrass myself? What's DMB? Dave Matthews Band. But I but I oh, and I, I, don't, on, I don't want to man. insult Dave Matthews so Band. He, he, with I, that. I didn't embarrass myself at all. I don't want to insult you John did. Mayer with that. I don't have I don't care about music. I I really like John Mayer. Uh, he was a he, I, I wasn't I was making. I was just Levy is uh, Levy is a very big Dave Matthews fan, so much so that he calls them the DMB. And before you make fun of him for it, everyone it's, does. It's it's something he used to go to with his dad and his brother, and now his dad's dead. So fuck oh, you. Oh, so, so there's sentimentality there. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. That's okay. But you well, know, if that Dave takes Matthews away is from listening, their musical it's not, prowess. Yeah, I mean, because they they rock that hard. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want Dave Matthews to be listening, and he's like, "Oh, cool, this, this guy's a fan." And then it's like, "Oh, because his dad died." And then Dave Matthews is like, What's "What?" Dave, so it's not my chords. Somebody, somebody, hum me a Dave Matthews band song. Steve, like, yell out a Dave hey Matthews band. This is dead on. Just if you don't know. Somebody got to put that to a beat. We got to get Rob Tantrum on Someone that one. Someone did. It, it, it was it, called it, Dave Matthews Band. Yeah. Dave, it sounds more like Donkey Matthews Band. That sounded like, a, that sounded like a, a, an emotional donkey. That's a way to put Speaking it. Speaking of emotions, Dan, you know, people can connect themselves to bands because there's sentimental value to it because you're, you, you went to the show with your father or you grew up listening to it in, at, you know, your, your stepmom's house or whatever, and you have these emotional connections to things that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise. Like sports, for instance, like people can get patriotic about, like, I'm a Dodgers fan because I'm from L.A. and they get their assholes about it or mm. Yankees fans or whoever, wherever you're from. But... Some people can just love the San Francisco Giants because that's where their father took them when they were little before the, before the father died. Uh, so um, I don't know if you have any special emotional connections to any sports teams. Ugh, I just wish the Eagles would finally get a Super Bowl win. Sports uh, Corner! Sports Corner, L11. That means 52 if you're a Latin. Uh, it's a Super Bowl, 52. Dan Harmon's going to break it down for you, Sports Corner. Sports corner. Obviously, the, you know, I'm not going to pretend I didn't hear about it. You can't, you can't, you can't avoid it. Uh, the Eagles won. Uh, it was their first win ever, mm -hmm. literally ever, their first Super Bowl win in the history of the franchise, a franchise that has got to be, whew, who knows how old, yeah. for 80,000 years. What, what, what stood out for you watching the game most? Like, what, what was the most? Capital Y yardage. Like, so much. That's how they won. If you, if you go back play by play, the Eagles had more yardage. That's how they won. The Patriots were short on yardage. Um, they didn't ice their knees. Uh, and uh, they came in overconfident. Why? Oh, they thought they had more yardage from previous games. Yardage only counts game for game. Yeah, you 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 tabulate it throughout the season. You're trying to figure out like what teams have a better chance of winning, but that can be a blessing or a curse. In my opinion, Jeff, and I am I am I'm sorry, this is just one man's opinion. I think that the uh Patriots came in fucking uh thinking we got the yardage. Uh they but the, what they failed to understand is that every team starts Every game with zero yardage. That's a technical fact. What do you think this loss, 
this loss for the Patriots means for Tom Brady going forward? Well, obviously, Tom Brady's going to have a lot of recovery to do. Uh, his many uh, injuries throughout the game like uh, are just the beginning of it. He's also now got injuries related to his leadership. I don't know if you saw his press conference after the game, um, but he cited uh, practice and uh, uh, coaching and uh, teammanship. And, you know, but what people wanted to hear from him really was leadership first, which he did mention, but he mentioned it in the wrong order. And um, so Brady's going to have to circle back, and he's going to have to think, am I the person that needs to lead these Patriots? You know, he's only five years younger than you are right now. He might be the oldest quarterback in, in Super Bowl history. Uh, like, how, how, what do you think? Are you asking if he's the quarterback? What, do you even know anything about sports? Of course Tom Brady's the quarterback of the Patriots. I'm saying, do you think, that, what does this mean for him? He's famous for wearing one a glove, like a weird colored glove or... That's a different player. Okay, all right. Shit. Trying do, you, to... do you think? Do you think he ought to retire after this one, or should, should he hang up his hang up his, his weird colored glove, or should he should he bring it back next season? I think I think you know. Look, uh, this is a dangerous sport. You know, no matter how many times you ice your knee, you're still going out there, and uh, uh, not even only risking concussion, but actually statistically just accumulating concussion and spine injury on behalf of a corporation that's going to spend the off season deciding whether there should be a rule against you kneeling during the fucking national anthem, which is kind of an insult. So let's go into politics corner. Politics <laughs> corner. No, I know. So. All right. Yeah. How was that? I don't, like really think of the irony of that. Imagine being a football player and, and knowing that the NFL commissioner is going to is going to spend this off season thinking about rules against protest on the field. Uh, clever move. Always the 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 anti protest rule. Hadn't thought of that. Um, the, 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 these are, these, and then it concurrently, like, is, is like all this, like, concussion information is coming out. Like, like, not that it's never been there, but it's just, it's right there in the zeitgeist right next to, uh, the fact that these are people who are not allowed to express in a completely peaceful way that arguably deferent still to the national anthem, the fact that while they were lucky enough um, and talented enough to end up where they are with everyone paying attention to them. They'd like to risk their entire career and reputation saying, yeah, but I'm not comfortable what's going on back in my hometown. I don't like the policies. I, I'm, I'm, so I'm going to kneel during this national anthem as if in deference to my fallen brethren um, uh, because I don't want the privilege to turn me into uh, uh, someone who turns their back on, on their fellow man. And, and, and th that's caused such a stir because we love to show up and watch these guys injure themselves uh, until they're like basically dead at 40 physically because their brain has been concussed so many times. Um, their spine slowly mangled. He's talking to you, Tom Brady. <clears throat> um, it's kind of fucking ironic, isn't it? Especially when the two teams in the uh, Super Bowl are the Patriots and the Eagles. Yeah. They, they, it could have been the Des Moines Star Spangled Banners. Like <laughs> the Uncle Sam's. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, look, I don't, I don't have anything. Let's, let's, let's. The Trenton Apple Pies. I don't know. Oh shit! Steve Levy just came down hard on Tom Brady. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know who Tom Brady is. Uh, in case that wasn't bomb. clear, wasn't he in in Mad Max? Um, all right, he was. Yeah, he was Mad Max. <laughs> all right, well, let's bring up tonight's guest. <laughs> She just scared the life out of me. I can't think of a better way to follow up our award-winning show. He just with emerged John like Mayer a specter. Than uh, a visit from from the always surprising. Find your find your camera. Find your camera. You know, for five dollars a month, uh, subscribers, you can uh, you you can see uh, the creepiest entrance of all time. It's certainly something. I have um, I have a question. Rob Schraub, everybody. Schraub's in the house. Schraub's in the house. I have a, a question. I, I've spe I have a speculation about like the kneeling mm -hmm. during the sports. You think they're okay? Uh oh. You think they're tired? What? You think they're tired? Is that what you're going to say? No, no. I have a question. Okay, so Republicans don't like it when the black people kneel. Right. They hate the it. They can't, they can't stand it. Right. They hate it. Okay, what if they kneeled during something that we liked? Right. Like puppy black adoption, people. welfare. You, know, like you what think would it kneel during welfare? Yeah, they could, like somebody's handing over a welfare check and somebody's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I think... I, 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 
come on. Yeah. That's not cool. What if this we is go? It's really what, important to us. What if we go to their churches while they're praying and we all just kneel? So no, no, no. We're right. already kneeling. What do they? What? What? I'm curious. I would like to, if I had one of them here, I'm like, okay, we're going to kneel during that. What would you kneel? I think it would be very telling. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> they would, oh, yeah. Well, you know their answer would be, would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but, the, but the general class warfare truth is that, of course, no one, no one cares when an old white man kneels. Like, they, they, if, he, if he does it. Uh, well, let's, let's think about it. This is, this is like, this is like seeds for a, a, a comedy oh, I'm not gonna, Well, I'm not going to think so about, fun. I'm not going to riff what they would think they should kneel during because it'll be a list of racist shit that, <laughs> because they'll be like, what do black people like? I'm and you don't want to do that. I don't want to riff a list of what black people like. No, I don't. I've, I've had a hard enough year. Name, d- just play it safe. Just name, like, of the top 100 things you think black people would like. like cast a wide net. Just put three things in there that you, you think You could have said during the Oscars, like. you know, like, the Republicans don't like oh, entertainment. Oh, they don't like that. Well, is it liberals or black people? You said black people. You said they don't like when black people oh, okay. kneel during well, the magic. Well, the yeah. black people are, are Give are me three things that you're pretty confident that all black people would like. See, he's off on that track, so. Okay, well, I'm, I'm you're really back on up, the track Rob. of the Republicans. What do Republicans not like? What do Republicans not like? That, uh, that they would that they would kneel while you were doing it. They like the that's what I'm a, meaning. A gay marriage certificate, yeah, right? Gay, gay marriage. marriage. Okay, so during a gay down. marriage, they you could know, kneel the, during a gay they marriage. They could kneel during that, and we would go, "Oh, that would that's great." They yeah. could, now we could like kneel during it. Everybody they could kneel, kneel during while it. they're it pouring Keurig actually, coffee. Kind of. I don't think old white people. Again, the reason why young uh, athletic black men kneeling is uh, is uh, causing a hysteria is because uh, they're doing it in front of everybody who might get bad ideas because everyone's watching them because they have the power to go out and get okay, their well, spines bring, mangled. Let's for the figure old it out. People. Let's figure it out. What's another thing? Besides sports that everybody's watching. Another thing besides the well, news. Said the Oscars. Uh, the Oscars. Uh, uh, the right. Nancy Grace. The Oscars. The Nancy Drew Mysteries pilot that's about to air. Riverdale. Riverdale. Uh, if the Riverdale Cloverfield, people Cloverfield, were kneeling. Uh, 2.0. Cloverfield 2.0. Cloverfield yeah, the new Paradox. Cloverfield on Netflix. They could, they could kneel during that. There's probably an Iron Man movie coming. Game of Thrones. During Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah, everybody could kneel during that stuff. What the fuck? <laughs> this is hilarious, Rob. This is great. <laughs> so, so Donald Trump Jr. like tweets like, "Ah, oh, wow, that uh, Crocodile Dundee reboot looks pretty good." <laughs> <laughs> if I was Danny McBride, I'd be like, "Oh, fuck me!" Uh, <laughs> Are you shitting me? That is the kiss of death. We should, we should have, we should have Danny McBride on here. Yeah, he'd should? do it. He's working on the Halloween that, that movie. trailer. As far as I couldn't tell if it was a Toyota commercial or a or a a uh, a tourism ad, which it was for Australia, but it also was a tie-in to the to p- promoting this film. Well, they're making a Dundee mm-hmm. movie. I don't yep. want to shock you. I haven't I haven't I haven't seen this uh, thing you're talking about the Super Bowl. I think I, I've Super they got Bowl Danny ad. McBride and uh, was it Hemmings? What's his name? Chris Hemmings. Chris Hemmings, and they're doing a Paul th- Hogan. They're doing a, they're doing a run. Yeah, Paul Hogan is in it. They're doing a Dundee reboot. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going. I want so is I, Donald Trump Jr. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your popcorn. Well, putting the bib his on hair grease and in it. sharpening the fork. And, you know, <laughs> I can't wait. He's putting bibs under his <laughs> eyes. And now, what's like, he going to do? What if he goes to the movie and there's He knows a, Kenny Powers is not a, a, a hero What if he goes to the right? movie and, he can, and, and in the movie Danny McBride comes out of a river and he wrestles a crocodile, and then while he's wrestling it, he says, like... I don't know, I'm trying to th- I'm trying to riff a joke that would be in, like in a comedy movie that would like 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 the crocodile like bites him and runs away and then he goes like oh so you're you you're, you're gonna you're gonna take the electoral vote results huh and then and then like so then is D- is Donald Trump Jr. gonna then get back on Twitter and go I'd like to recant like I, I was very disappointed he wouldn't express that right because it would be an admission of weakness because it would mean that he was capable of being wrong about I think something. he would say I was having a good time. With my bros watching Danny McBride, Dundee, and then they had to right. typically do this below the belt 
stuff during my Danny McBride and just ruin my evening. Me and my wife and my bras, we had to get out of there <laughs> and just, we just had to go home and I had to put an ice pack on. Hey, Donald Trump Jr. And I just hated it. <laughs> Donald. You're trying to enjoy yourself. Donald Jr. And the Hollywood elite. DJ. has got to come on. DJ, sweetheart. Which is below the belt. <laughs> DJ, get back in the... DJ, shit our, our car is here. poop all over my Danny McBride. Johnny, you're embarrassing. It's bullshit and it's stupid and it's entitled and it's and it's it is fucking just inappropriate. I hate it. I hate it. Yes, Eric. <laughs> Donnie, I'm just saying get back in the car. Oh God, you're you're embarrassing I yourself. I, I, okay. I, 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 there's, a, there's an interesting point there, which is the, or, or the least interesting point of all, because you notice that it's like, oh, this whole, like, oh, the liberal media and the liberal entertainers and the comedians, are like, oh, we will, oh, we don't like the thing. And then the, and then you notice all the, I think, I think there is like a theme there where it's like, that is exactly how he'd react. He'd react as if he was entitled. It'd be a big, to this movie and the, and the, and that this horrible choice had been made that didn't have to be made. You didn't have to go there. Um, what a shame, which is exactly what kneeling before the anthem is. Like, well, why do they have to? This, this game of football where my corporation owns these gladiators who go out and mangle their spines for me, uh, like, it was, it was perfect. It's already fine. Who cares that everyone doing it has this opinion? Just get rid of that opinion. I think that's so inconvenient and so stupid of them. Like, how? Why would they want to do that to a great game like football? They are the game of football. Like, what are you gonna do without them? I guess you'll replace them with like w worse football players that love the did, national I anthem. Didn't, I didn't. I don't watch sports. Did they? Kneel, did anybody? Kneel I don't know. The thing? I don't know what's going on. I, I didn't see any kneeling. There was some arm linking. A couple guys. Uh, one guy was just like. Some people looked away. Some people didn't have their hands on their hearts, which will probably be the next new illegal thing. I'll tell you one thing that I found very impious. Oh, NFL, shit. National Football League. I found Justin Timberlake's outfits with his band a little uh, little hobo-y. A little racy. Uh -huh. A little hobo -y. A little too much skin. As Doug Benson, or I think, I think it was Doug Benson, said, he looked like a cowboy house painter. <laughs> 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 and his church, what was yours, church? A blood, because he had a red one. Yeah, he had a, he had a red bandana on. She goes, "Is he a blood now, or did he just come back from the groom?" <laughs> yeah, I, know. That's a, I love that. That's an actual like groomer thing. Like I, I did. I thought that was one groomer thing, and then like, yeah, I like. No, like, if you're a Labrador retriever, you come back. You. you come back with a red handkerchief on. Uh, I'm sure. It went on. It, it, look, look, here's the thing. I'm not talking shit about uh, J Tim uh, about T Lakes. <laughs> T Lakes. <laughs> So I, I just T Lakes is good. I, uh, J, J, J Lakes, J J, 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 J Tibble looks. Uh, he put on a good fucking program. It went on for a thousand years, and I feel like they recycled costumes from the last Super Bowl because there was a lot of people wearing primary colors. But he did a good job. Was he the just, last one Lady Gaga? Because I don't know that motherfucker. As you if you can rewind to my podcast, I I watched the Lady Gaga performance. I mean, he like. That's some shit. I wouldn't follow that shit. Yeah. She stood up on the rim of the arena, and then she, again, you know, I she don't want to. dove wanna, off it. If you're a fan of the podcast, I don't want to bore you, but she dove off. Now, many, many artists have been on Wires. Garth Brooks, Beyonce, uh, Peter Spider Pan. Spider-Man. Uh, uh, no, I've never Kinda seen anybody opera. do the, w jump on a wire and then and then do the fucking, like, creepy crawly in the air like she was like she was she was doing i was like that's what i'd do if i was on a wire i think i'd like to think, think she was like panicking like, well no she was she like, was like she was crawling. acting like she was falling you know is that the name of it was there a song is there a song has to do with falling it probably didn't have to do with football i don't know no, okay. it doesn't matter what is it i'm what? not gonna get what? irritated with any of you guys tonight we're gonna have a good time why, Dan, let's get back to why you're feeling funky. What, 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 why, why are you in the trough right now? I mean, just where Schraub is, it's just a sandbar. We should be in a sandbar. We're over uh, 70. Where we've been doing what we've been doing yeah. for a long time. Well, it's fine. It doesn't. It, it, it's just. It's just a. It's just a lack of uh, things to look forward to. You know. I had a good time uh, Saturday. Good time. Good Did time. You have Saturday a good time at, at Rob all? Schraub's house. Rob, I went to Rob Schraub's house. I was playing Magic. 
It was great. Rob Schraub went to bed Kate. pretty early. <laughs> Kate Kate uh, was like, I'm going to go play magic cards over at my, friend's, uh, my other friend's house. And I said, why don't you... Uh, why don't you play over here? And she was like, Ugh. and I was like, come on, I'll be the wife and I'll make, you know, little finger sandwiches. This is stuff. literally and a King of Queens episode. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I'll just do this. You have your friends over and I'll just, I'll make, I'll make tacos and, uh, you I, know. I bet you made some nachos. I didn't make nachos. We had chips. He made yeah. chips in a bowl. Yeah. And I had a great time, you know. And then once I was done with my part of it. He went I went in the other room and watched Blake Seven for, you know, three hours. Fell asleep during one of the episodes. Okay. Yeah. Eight thirty on a Saturday. Yeah. I what do I have to stay up for? Wait, I'm a grown person. I can go to sleep anytime I want. You don't gotta stay up. I've been for awake me. a a lot my life. So you're saying, Rob, that you weren't a, you weren't excited about playing magic? No, he didn't. No, I learn. just wanted to belong. He was doing the thing, the fifties thing with the where the wife makes sandwiches. And I had a little bell for I the poker. Ding it every time like the he tacos had, were done. He had a taco bell that he would ring. Did did did, did you do you, you think yeah. Kate was? I made the tacos. You but you had a taco bell. Do you think yeah. Kate was uh, disappointed or happy? No, she was very happy. I, I was like, let's do this from now on instead of you leaving. Spencer, the didn't, didn't you post some That's photo great. that said that you won the Magic Gathering? We played two games. He and I wins won every one. time. I win a fair you amount. You had like five Statues of Liberty. I couldn't tell. I didn't zoom in. Yeah, I had just played five Statues of Liberty, which, as you know, gives you protection from flying. Spencer, so help me God, if I find out you get high before the show. <laughs> oh, no. This is ice cream, I think, <laughs> is what's causing this. I had a pint of ice cream. That's, that's going to be the name of your, your Double Day book? Yeah. I was eating ice cream. See, Sh Shrab is having a tantrum right now because he Shrab couldn't get his hoodie off. Me. The you audience, uh, we have a question from uh, Steve Levy in the, in the audience. Uh, inquiring minds would Beyond like to know. Beyond meat. Beyond meat. It's beyond meat crumble. What kind of cheese was it? It was uh, somewhere less than almond cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere, somewhere this side of cheese. Uh, pr pr proof that cheese is an artificial construct. Uh, dot com. A quarter, a quarter <laughs> till it cheese. It was nut cheese. <laughs> somewhere not, short of not, cheese. Was dairy somewhere free between cheese, cheese and <laughs> necessity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was dairy free cheese. Uh, uh, everyone loved was them. Was it good? Were they, were they tasty? They, everybody ate them all. Yeah. They ate all of them. I ate I ate a few. Spencer, I, I didn't look too closely because it's Instagram and you can't it's hard to zoom and see the thing, but they looked like little little Statue of Liberty heads. They had spikes on them. It, they were hellions. Hellions. Yeah. They're like big worms. They have butthole mouths. They got butthole mouths. Kind what of. do they have for buttholes? Mouths. Pretty straight math. Yeah. Well, so Rob, you're not, uh, but you're not feeling better, right? I'll go up and down. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to advertise my my state of mind because it, it just, it, it, I, 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 I unfortunately am a needy person, and then a lot of your wonderful fans like. Right and say hey, hey I hope you feel better mm. and and it, and it's nice and you get like a little jolt of oh that feels good I'm being cared about I don't want to be addicted to that I don't right. want to be addicted to the ba uh, to the to the uh, pep talk so I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to try to be a little bit more private about it mm. yeah. I wouldn't want to receive that I would I would taste yeah, that I don't as like it. poison not because of their intent I would be like Ugh, I'm so embarrassed yeah. I accidentally I got so drunk I tweeted I want out all I want is out. Courtney Love uh, yeah. direct messaged uh, right. Cody. I was so. Right. I mean, that's the height of yeah. social irresponsibility. Because she can she can take you out. Yeah, that's, that's why she, she started. She was like, uh, I could be there in twenty minutes. She. Uh, I've, no, I I've mean, done for this. a nice meal. <laughs> or have you? <laughs> she. Uh, or uh, the other take the, is that she's been through yeah. enough, and yeah. to and to raise her alarm bells is an incredibly irresponsible waste of her empathy. Uh, yeah. uh, in any case, uh, it was very embarrassing. I have to, I, that hits me as like, oh shit, I fucked up. You're 45 years old. Don't, don't, don't ever make people think that they have to waste 
their energy on you that when when they're, it's already hard enough to give it to other people like i i you know i like i like throwing pity parties for myself but it's more like you know it's like it's a pity party table it's, for I, one. I enjoy yeah, it I, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean i did it and i was just honest about it but i I'm, i i don't want to get into a habit of it because yeah. it it becomes a snowball you become addicted to the pep talk and and you don't you move forward to me i just i have to live through this i have to find some way to get out of it uh and i know that and uh and i i'll, I'll be fine i'm i'm you know i i'm i'm I thank everybody for being concerned but i'm i'm going to be okay shrab came over today to uh, he's going to he's going to test drive my ipad pro to see if he wants to get one himself i have <coughs> I have two of them. Two. I, 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 I got the big one and decided it was too heavy. I like the smaller one. Well, maybe if I like it, I could buy one of yours off of you. I could buy one. He needs both of them. I'm, I don't have enough respect for my money to... Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather have my iPad Pro back and just you you go get your own. But okay. I, I could mean, have done what that. What am I going to do with that, 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 that fair market price for a 12.9-inch iPad Pro that I charge my friend? Uh, just give me like blue book value, and then I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have like a stack of twenty dollar bills that I do what with that's not gonna be karmically damaging to me. Yeah, come on. I what mean, the fuck are you it's thinking? It's a choice between giving it to you as a gift. What could somebody do with a stack of money? You could I'll buy a you, stack you, could, of you could buy a bunch of Apple pencils that your dog eats, or you could you could fucking I don't know. You, 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 that's what I'm saying. Money's for blowing out your ass. Money's a river. Money's, Hell yeah. Money is frothy. Money Money's is a river. It, 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 it's, it. it's, it's it's you know it's, it's frothy. It's, it's, so you know you know when you're swimming in in water with your friends, you don't like take a cup of water from them like in exchange for some for some a rock. Like just go get your own rock. Fucking. Fucking cheap. Yeah, state. they're everywhere. All right, but uh, so but you're, anyways, say, you're saying you're going to buy him uh, his own rock. iPad Pro, or you're going to make him buy? I his don't own need rock? him to buy me anything. I'd probably do he's that saying, before. I don't. I don't. I don't want your gifts. He's gonna. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a little cheapy. Cheapy peepee. So he's going to test not drive. A cheapy he's a peepee, little cheapy peepee, as you peepee. call me. I'm not a cheapy peepee, Dan. He's Fucking a, take it back. You're kind of a. I'm cheapy not a cheapy peepee. peepee. I wanted to know. If it worked, we were talking on the plane, and you said, well, I could let you buy and I let me try it out, and I'll give it back, and I'll buy my own. That's not a cheapy peepee that's being smart. <laughs> Anyways, he came over to get it, and I was in my underwear, and he's like, so I got the iPad, and, I, and then he's like, he's like, he's like, and then he he's like. He wanted me to leave so bad. He wanted me to leave so bad. He walked it outside, got out of his house, and went. Here, here you go. And I went, okay. And I started walking into his house. And he went, okay. And then, uh, and then, I, and then he, I don't know how we got upstairs. And I sat down and he came into the room and was like, <laughs> so disgusted that I took a load off. Cheapy. Peepy. And then, and then, uh, and then, and then he's like, uh, I guess uh, you want a drink? <laughs> All right, and then he poured me a drink. Who's the oh, cheapy peepee now? Yeah. I'm like taking a sip, and I'm trying to make conversation. And, and he goes, he goes. So what's going on with this uh, memo? What's the with the memo? And uh, I go, and I go. Well, as far as I can tell, the memo is, and Cody comes in. Cody's been sick for three days in my bed. <laughs> she emerges like with a <laughs> banana and an aspirin or something. And Rob's like. Why didn't you tell me that I was interrupting something? And, and Cody's like, no, 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 you're not interrupting anything. I want to hear about the memo, too. I don't get the fucking memo. That was the oh. funny part of my day. Was I, I, I accidentally found myself in the position of explaining the memo uh, to uh, people that were, like the rest of us, all seeking clarity on the fucking stupid-ass memo. Yeah. And uh, if you're listening to this three years in the future because you're catching up on 500 episodes of Harmon Just don't bother trying to parse it. There was, a, there was this point during the fucking six-year remake of the Nixon administration where the, this fucking sub-sub-sub uh, plot about uh, some dude in the woods in the f north of the wall uh, called the Nunes Memo is happening, and, 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 and it, was, it was dumb. But, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't really explain this is back, it. I mean, if you're listening to this three years in the future, future this is 2018 this is back in a time when money was still frothy mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, it was, yeah. And Rob was still a cheapy Rob was still a cheapy peepee. I do recommend for that reason, like listen again to Slow Burn. It's the, it takes you through the Nixon administration, and it's not in a cheeky way. It's just it's just it's very, it's a little bit comforting. Sometimes it's a little sometimes it kind of bums you out, but it like it's like uh, it just it just walks you through. Um, the six-year administration of an administration kind of destined to impeach. <laughs> um, and uh, it's interesting how long it takes and how many B stories there are. Do you, do, I, I was just reminded in like the second to last episode that Spiro Agnew was the vice president and he, he had to step down. <laughs> Uh, because of a completely unrelated uh, scandal that he just had going on on the side, he was just like he was like a money launderer and a, a bribe taker and stuff, and he he got caught doing it, and he just had to step down from the vice presidency amid the Watergate shit. Like it just happened as a side order of potatoes, some rice balls that came to the to the table. You think a guy with a name like Spiro Agnew would have his shit together? Yeah. Like, like he would like he, he would have built a fortress around any mistake he might like he would be the most reliable person. He's gotta have a cybernetic hand. Yeah. <laughs> I am Spiro Oh Surrender to me, Spiro Agnew. All right. Spiro Agnew is online. I have Ten spears in my Agnew. <laughs> All right. You are in direct deposition <laughs> to the compliance of my Spiros. Okay. I will Agnew in ten, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six. Whoa. You have five Agnews left to Spiro. Four, three, two, one. You have been in defiance of the Spiro Agnew. Uh, Tabla Rosa. I will now authorize to use lethal force. It's a little less dramatic than the Ed 209. I knocked over my cup. But more silent <laughs> and less lethal. Uh, so I am the more superior version of it. Oh, my foot. My yeah. foot. Sorry about that. Is my it, foot. Is it true that you're being asked to resign from the vice presidency? I will now step down from the vice presidency <laughs> to a totally unrelated but parallel scandal involving the White House. And then, I will be replaced with Gerald Ford. <laughs> and, then, and then after Dan explaining me all this, he goes, well... Sounds like you're going through a really hard time right now, and you probably want to talk about this. But uh, <laughs> I got to deal with. I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriend. She's <laughs> sick. <laughs> then you get, that was my cue to leave. I said I didn't. I that's hear not how I it. Sounds it. like you're. Uh, was he mad because you were taking his iPad Pro, or did he just? I don't know what he, dude. You <laughs> can't believe. I'm such me. an easy target. It's unbelievable. He goes. He goes. He goes. He goes. Well. You look like you're having a hard time right now. <laughs> Wish I could help you, but get out. That's it's not, Sunday. That is not. I, I don't know how I phrased it, but that is not how and it on went. On my way out, he goes. He's like knocking on on my on my card. Hey, we don't have a guest tonight. Can you please come? No, no. Okay, okay let's okay, let's make okay, this very okay, clear. Okay, all right. I said actually at the top of the Cheeky stairs peep, as you peep, descended peep, the peep, stairs. Yeah. By the way. We uh, we don't have a guest tonight. You come on Harmontown, and 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 you could barely release your white knuckled grip on your free cheapy pee pee iPad <laughs> long enough to to this let is, some blood is, get to your voice box oh, so you God. could emit the most begrudging. Uh, like that's how you reacted to being a guest on Harmontown, a show that has given you stardom. <laughs> <laughs> this does not. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm paying for this iPad well, one way or another. Yeah. I mean, if you for the rest me, of my life, people are going to be calling me cheapy peepee. You know what? For the Steve, rest of my life, Steve, make a cheapy note. Cheapy peepee. Steve, can you send hashtag cheapy peepee? Send cheapy John peepee. Mayer an iPad Pro, please. You fucking I want. Asshole. I want those who contribute to be rewarded. I feel like John Mayer's in a low place himself, but he handles it by having the voice of a fucking angel, an insightful, interesting commentary. And the body of a... Of a, of a Wonderland. I don't know. <laughs> of a Wonderland admissions I, uh, guy. Do you I, think he was Do you think he was a little... I, I, I mean, I know from talking to him over pizza 
I mean, he that he he doesn't hate that song. How, he how, just thinks it's weird and random that that's his. How did you how did you meet him? Because uh, was it randomly? He, or? Came, he came to the Rick and Morty commentary. Oh, okay. Which was kind of random. Did he but add, was he in the audience? It, there, I, there wasn't an audience. Was he, I, was he dressed as I Summer? Think he knows or? somebody. He explained. Pickle Rick. Okay. He, he, so he when knows. he does he talk to you? He goes, "Hey, how are you doing?" <laughs> like, what? That's this? Dave Matthews. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a good Dave Matthews. Though. Hey, how hey, are hey, you been hey, doing? Hey, hey, I haven't more. seen you when for a year more. So when is season four <laughs> coming out now? <laughs> Season four, he get those kind I of I heard you want to hey, when are you going to sign those contracts? <laughs> when are, are uh, you drawing it? John Mayer, who had to have vocal cord surgery uh, uh, because of whatever, uh, uh, what, what, what he's got. I'm not that uh, good a friend. Something with his throat. He uh, he did, after, after hours of me uh, being a goofball, trotting all over what may or may not have been its boundaries he did at one point just for one moment in the entire podcast he as a as a placeholder within a joke he's like yeah and say for instance i did say like your body is a one and he like sang he just sang that phrase and i i had shivers now i think i think that might be just a professional did vocalist you, did thing. you uh ask him to, you should have asked him to can you do my voicemail message uh, you know I you should have you didn't though i you never should've. do i never do that you stuff. never do you but you should have you should have and should've. what would he have said you, you would have said given, you do people said, use voicemail anymore yeah he yeah. yeah yeah and i would have said no. what did you say do people use voicemail anymore right yeah and i would have said no <laughs> rob yeah. if uh if you were john mayer uh, doing dan's voicemail i think it would go a little something well here's a no, well sorry i don't want to like, talk but, but, rob here's a test uh, uh, yes. Because you use your voicemail so much, uh, Rob, uh, you have 20 seconds to pull up uh, the ability for someone to leave your outgoing message on your voicemail, which is going to be totally second nature to you because you use Do your it. voicemail Go. so much. Do it. Go. Go. Pull it, up your, your, your voicemail. Your, pull up my voicemail. Let's record your new outgoing record voicemail it. message because you know how to bring no, it up. No, I like my outgoing voicemail message. I don't want to erase it with this... This Pull thing it up. that's gonna take me down. Cause what you need to do is put put me in my place. Get down there. Yeah. Take 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 me down. Hello, and you have reached the offices of Cheapy Pee Pee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm chasing the moths that have escaped from my coin purse right now because they might be worth money. I think they have copper in their veins. They ate my pennies. I'm Cheapy Pee Pee. <laughs> I'm turning a penny into wire right now <laughs> in an adaptation of an anti-Semitic joke I heard on the playground. Yeah, well, my wife's Jewish, so thank I, you. I'll call you back oh. after I get through slicing this bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't appreciate any of this. Look at Rob's muscly arms. Look at that. He's got some real muscles going on. What's your secret, Rob? What's yeah, my secret? What's your secret to those muscly arms? How do you say some lies than sinewy? Planking. Planking. How I long can do, do eight planks? planks. Eight fifteen. I can second do place. eight planks in six notes. Dave Klein Whoa. comes over. I've been. I've been. Uh, the only thing that I've done right in 2018 is every uh, every other day since January 1st, uh, and now we are well into February. I have been working out at 8 a.m. Uh, and you can watch me do it on Instagram Live. And Dave Klein is my personal trainer. Uh, and uh, so I get to wake up at eight and watch you work out. Wow! Wow! That sounds great. That sounds great. And this is free. I'm expressing. Yeah, this it is, is free. free. Yeah, it is free. I don't oh charge gosh. for it. Can you believe I didn't monetize it? I know. I know. <laughs> this oh, is sounds shit. something like what I want to do. I wasn't telling you guys to watch me. I was t expressing I pride in myself. No, I, I, I'll see it like at 9 or 8.30 or, or 3 p.m. And I'll see that. But there's no way to scrub through it. You have to watch the whole thing. Yeah, you tap, you, you can, can go for like it? five you minutes tap, at If you tap time. it, it'll advance. I try tapping it and it just goes to the next thing. Tap, tap, a tap, a tap. A. I think if you tap it, it'll, it'll, it'll advance like 15 seconds or tap, something. Tap, tap, tap. 
doesn't matter. It's not for you guys, but I, you know, what is for you guys is my friendship and the self-actualized version of me that would make the best friend possible be one who's escaped from his toxic shame through therapy, working out, self-improvement, confronting their demons, making amends with uh, uh, the numerous people he's hurt over the last decades. I, you know, cool uh, sunglasses. Excuse me, you know, like uh, for giving out iPads and and just trying to j take care of sick girlfriends and. Keep going. Trying to take care of sick uh, girlfriends. For a thousand winters, I took you away. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? Wow. wow. This show's a mess. I got, it's I got, good. It's a, it's this a, is good. It's a good break from the John Mayer episode. Like, you don't want, we don't want to garner a reputation for, like, an Olympic breaststroke. We want to, like, confuse people. Let's splash around in the pool. Is he political? Oh, he gets political. I mean, he he should he should run for mayor. <laughs> mayor for mayor. Yeah. Yeah. Pound for pound, mayor for mayor, John Mayor. I'm John Mayor. <laughs> I think this town could use a new mayor. <laughs> Ding. Vote for mayor. For mayor. <laughs> 2018. There'll be a mayor. In every pot, <laughs> and a me for every mayor, John Mayer. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mayor. Um, yes. The uh, debates tonight. Are you sure you don't want to go over your platform? <laughs> I've just did. Okay. Read all the cards. Uh oh. Here we go. You're up against some tough competitors. Uh -huh. Mayor, Mayor. Do we call you Mayor, Mayor? Yes. Okay. What are their last names? Your can your can your competitive candidates. There, uh, it's uh, Senator Gold Sack. <laughs> from and, Goldman Sachs and, and Congressman they're both they're all running for mayor and this is the thing when a senator and a congressman run for mayor they have they, like a lot of people yeah. say oh they're on the down slope they think they got it but what their last name isn't what they're trying to be that's true gold sack and uh, congressman they could be a gold Kenneth. sack all you want hey why don't you be a gold sack and two I'll hours be later mayor. at the debates no, I'm saying, what is your last name? <laughs> My last name? Is, yes, your last name, it's, huh? It's Goldsack. Yeah, why don't you be that, and I'll be a mayor. <laughs> I'll take that question for what it's worth with my time. An argument could be made I have been a gold sack, as I have proven a, an effective businessman in the private sector. And I What's do believe in the that sack? as much as government uh, is a business. Please, please, mayor, mayor. Uh, please rolls give, off the tongue. Please give Congressman the gold sack his time. Yes, give him his time. Open up the sack. I was just saying. <laughs> many of the ails from which we suffer in a, as a, a public uh, uh, government could be solved. You're out of order. <laughs> uh, Answer the question. Do What's I, in the sack? Do I get extra time? Or? Drain the sack. Drain it. Drain the Drain sack. Drain the sack. Gold sack. More like mold sack. Ooh. Smells. I believe my candidate uh, sums up the expression, um, he who has no Spiros in his agnu uh, boasts a tough game. It's called soap. Look it up. I'm not dirty. <laughs> mold sack. Don't talk about my hygiene, sir. I bathe when it's appropriate. Low, a moment more. Low gene. Because you got a moldy sack. Your jeans are moldy. Yeah. Flashback to uh, John Goldsack's uh, sixth grade playground. Hey, John, you want to uh, you know, you know, play some kickball again? I would love to. Thank you. It's about time I was invited to participate. Or is your sack too moldy? Yeah, what, what the fuck? Mold sack. sack. Damn, yeah, man, what's that green My stuff on hygiene the sack? should be of no concern to fellow sixth graders. I fail to understand how it affects our friendship. Man, you gotta keep those balls dry, man. Your sack is all moldy. Yes, all right, I get it. I've heard every permutation of this formula. You gotta Thank air you. out them. I air will clean myself sack. when I feel dirty and not a moment sooner. John Goldsack. It's me, your girlfriend, Elizabeth. Hello. Um, more like cold sack. 
Ooh, shit, yeah. Now, this is the irony. Emotionally. I You're emotionally to, cold and distant, John I Cold I have sack. unplugged emotionally because if I'm plugged in all the time, I'm suffering these slings and arrows from the fellow man. Of course, it's not meant to uh, hurt you, but it will be my eternal plague. I have rewired my heart to avoid abuse and in such have become a form of abuser. And for that, I am sorry, Elizabeth, and I will be sorry to every woman I will ever meet, or my name's not Senator John Goldsack. Abuser. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't ever call me dirty, you pig. <laughs> <laughs> the polls are in. Everybody wants to go vote for... Uh, for <laughs> For Mayor John Goldsack, <laughs> uh, what, what most uh, of his so base mean. is calling him John Boldsack for his for his bold statements. I gotta <laughs> agree with you there, Pickles. Uh, I thought that John Mayer bursting into sobs uh, <laughs> during his candidacy uh, was the wrong move at the wrong time for the wrong administration. Back to you, Rebecca. Hey, come on down to Rebecca's TV. You're going to get a free TV if you come on down. Get a loaf of bread with your free TV. Trade in a free TV for a mattress. I'm Rebecca, and this is my TV store. <laughs> well, <laughs> in other news, birds are falling from the sky, suffering from some kind of mercury poisoning that they've uh, absorbed in the clouds. Uh, Roger Harmon uh, has the story. This is Roger Herman Stark. <laughs> the expression is birds of a feather fly together, but these birds will only fall together as long as they keep inhaling mercury. It seems droplets of the formerly celebrated substance known as quicksilver uh, <laughs> have been poisoned by noxious fumes purportedly coming from this factory behind me. Yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. We've burned every thermometer in the building. Bill Bill is the proprietor of Bill's Mercury Burners, a factory that claims it is not responsible for the mercury in the clouds. Yes, we take, we make thermometers here, and we realize that that's probably where the mercury is coming from, so we took all the thermometers that we have and we burned them. We burned every thermometer and all the all the mercury got burned up and went went away. Went away, went up, went up the chimney. What do you say to the American people when they say thermometers have mercury in them? I think when you burn them, the mercury goes up into the clouds. What do I say to that? Mm hmm No. Bill continues to be good at business for uh, CNBC. I'm... I'm Roger Harmerson. Breaking news from the Mercury bird crisis. Uh, we are standing out here in a field full of dying young chicks, d young birds who are suffering from alcohol, alcohol from mercury. I was watching you pour fucking vodka. Uh, mer mercury poisoning. Uh, said hey, Je Jeff, Jeff, J J do you want to take that again? Huh? No, we got it. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. We're, 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 we're live. Roger, we're live right now. I t we go now live to UCB workshops where basic improv is being taught. Um, I, I'm standing outside the UCB headquarters on Sunset Boulevard where inside 25-year-old students from around the country are learning give and take, uh, denial, and question asking <laughs> in various exercises designed for sixth graders. Uh, Candace? What? <laughs> Who? There's no Candace here. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you, you're just putting your finger in your ear. That's, that's not even yeah. a microphone. Yeah, why are you sitting during an interview anyway outside UCB <laughs> in Burbank? 25. <laughs> I want to do a Star Wars reference. <laughs> here, here to comment, Matt Besser. <laughs> I've got a penguin on my head. Don't say no. Let's I stop. Let's stop this. Yeah, this I is mean, the worst. We're oh terrible. Shit. Well, don't. Shit. Yeah, we're too good for this. I mean, your 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 New England Patriots lost today. I mean, I can't imagine the state that you're in, Spencer. Oh yeah, it's okay because we have all that other wins. Remember all those times we cheated. We'll always have those. 
You cheated? Did I see Donald Glover in a commercial cheated. for a big ass movie? Like, is he going to be in Han he's Solo? Han yeah, he's Han Solo's friend Lando Calrissian. He's playing young Lando. He's playing yeah. young Lando. Directed what? by Ron Howard. Wow. Oh, now, shit. now, because my, because our old friends got fired and replaced with my new friend Ron Howard. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who are the old friends? Lord and Miller. Regis. And Never met him, uh, but love him. They're great. Good Shrod friends. Knows him. Good friends. I like him. That's pretty badass to play young Lando Calrissian. You think he's going to call him Han like he does in the movies? Han, you old pirate. Han. Everyone else calls him Han. You must have heard about my little maneuver back at the Battle of Taneb. <laughs> <laughs> Han Solo, you old pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just doing, I'm really doing my impression of your impression. I like it. Jeff Davis, that impression of Billy D. Williams is fantastic. Dan Harmon, your impression of me doing Lando Calrissian is a bad impression of Howard Cosell. Jeff Davis, your Howard Cosell sounds like Catherine Hepburn. You old poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob. Uh, Could you do... This is a tough ask. You can say no. This is not a UCB class. Do you think you could do Dave Matthews' band but sung as... Catherine Hepburn, like, could you combine those two things? Yeah. Okay. Hee ha ho, hee ha ho, you. Hee ha ho, hee ha ho, you. Yeah. I mean, it's not. I, the, yeah. you, the question you should have asked was, would it be entertaining? I still don't know oh. who Dave Matthews fan is. Like, I'm sure if I heard a song, that it's an actual song. I oh, yeah. I swear to God, that's the closest I can come to hits. even. There's not. It's not like they don't, they don't have a hook. They were like, the band that the, 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 their bus took a poop off a bridge on people, right? Well, yeah. Why don't, why don't bring, bring up Steve Levy so he Hell can. Yeah. Steve Levy. Their bus took a puff, poop off a bridge? Yeah. That was. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. They dumped Steve Levy for the DMB the rebuttal. DMV. DMV, DMV, DMV rebuttal. DMV. You gotta love those DMVs. Talk, DMX, I, I'm, DMV. I'm, I'm not being a jerk or provocative right now, Levy. Yeah. Talk me into, give me your eyes into my possible love of, or at least interest in Dave Matthews' band. And after you do that, could you please book six black women for next week's show? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, like Steve, come right on. All right. We keep trying to book diverse guests, and Steve keeps telling us it's not going to happen. All right, it's crazy. At this point, it's crazy. It's been two years. It's crazy. It's point, not our fault. <laughs> it's Steve Levy. At this point, it's just malfeasance because I, how, how many church you and I, we're, we're emailing him all day long about getting some diversity up on the He stage. says that it... He says he's not getting them, but sweetie, I see we can't him hear you. You're not mic'd. We gotta get more women up here. <laughs> First of all, uh, no. Tell us about what. Yeah, what? go back to the. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I, I broke a record at my gym this weekend. A PR? Wait, what? Yeah, I was. I planked. I planked fucking arms. for two minutes straight with a 45-pound weight on my back. So cool. What? Thanks, Rob. You I can put weight. Yeah, no, that back. is pretty cool. What did you do? You put a weight on your back? Put and a 45-pound weight plate on my back and but planked for two minutes Was straight. it an elbow planks on your elbows? or? Yeah, elbow. Okay. Am I allowed to do this? Is this a constitutional violation if I say, Steve, I'm getting into self-care, so I need you to get fat and be slovenly because otherwise we're – what? Are, what is this? Jeff's actually looking yeah, pretty good what is lately, this? too. I went to my first spin class today in 45 years. <laughs> I feel like a bag of smashed assholes. I'm fucking wrecked. <laughs> that fucking hurts. When you don't go for a while, it's 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 fucking thirsty work. Yeah. So could you plank? You could but you planked with 45 pounds <laughs> on your back. Yes. yes. Could that you cuddle title. me? In a plank? I feel like a bag. I could of cuddle you. Assholes. Okay, good. Okay, Rob. Rob, lay down. Lay down on your back. Okay. And then. How many planks adds up to one push-up? Because I'm up to eight. Okay, and then wait, wait, no, 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 on your back. Lay, lay flat on your back so he can plank. So he can plank good. on you. What? Like, well, okay. Can you can you plank over Shrav when he's in that? No, no, <laughs> no, he's no, he, no. he, he's 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 gonna plank on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the 45 pound weight. This isn't. Aww. Why is this? Aww. What is this supposed to be doing? Well, it should be miked. 
But no, 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 no. Yeah, stay down there. Let's, let's, let's talk it out. Five dollars gets you like, 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 Steve like, and Rob like, Schraub spooning you know, on stage. This is all I wanted. This is all I wanted. It's all I wanted. They got nappy time lights. Okay. And microphones. Rob, you're very comfy. See? I love you very much. He's got big shoulders. Too. They both got big shoulders. You make shoulders. me laugh a lot. You I appreciate make me, that. Make me laugh. Thank you for helping Kate and I out on Thursday. Oh, uh, yeah, that was fun. Kate wrote a good script. Yeah, she's very talented. It's going to get much better, too. She deserves better. Yeah, let's make that movie. If she wrote a great script, how, how, what do you mean it's going to get much better? Well, she, she, we gave her a bunch of notes. What do you give oh notes on no. a great script for? What are you, a fucking asshole? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not Dan, let them, let them. Look, okay. what are you doing? What are you doing over here? <laughs> I'm supervising, and I, I needed to grab a mic because I gave him. I gave up you, my why mic. Do you, why I'm do you always giving things and being characterized? Why do as you a have villain. to? Why do you have to cuddle splain? Why can't this just yeah. uh, work itself out? I make time? such an easy he, target. He this should be called easy target. Would you, would you look at what's happening right now? Now you're you're looming over them like 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 like. All right, I'm like Odin. Rob, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Yeah. Being um, forgotten. Oh. Is that why you're in the entertainment business? No, that's why I'm here tonight. On the stage? Yeah, with you guys, yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> Keep going. <laughs> that was quite a sigh. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This is amazing. What are you thinking about? <laughs> what am I thinking about? Yeah. You. What, what about <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see? Did you see that Army Hammer movie? No. <laughs> this is really good. Dan, we should watch it. Dan turned me away from it. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't uh, think that's. I don't think that's appropriate going. music. No, it's uh. too. It's too groovy. No. Did you, that? What's music. that movie? What's that movie? That call me. Call me. Call me by your name. Call me by your name. So, I Kate. Kate tr- goes. Hey. Let's watch some screeners. I'm like, I was like, okay, well, we've seen, seen. What, what do we have left? And she goes, well, let's go watch this co- Call Me By Your Name. And I'm like, oh, what's it about? And she's like, mm, I, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, all right. Well, I heard Ar- Ar- Army Hammer is in it, and he's good in it. It's okay. Let's check, let's check it out. Watch it, you know, and it's about <coughs> this this older man, like, falling in love with this young boy. Uh-oh. 17. A- 17, 16, actually, I think. And uh, and 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 I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, fine, all right, whatever. It's I'm I'm a little uncomfortable because the kid's underage, and it's very romantic. And then when it gets to the child fucking, he's 17. 17. I'm not defending child fucking. Keep going, keep going. Just. I, I I I'm sitting there watching it. I turn turn to Kate on the couch. She's fast asleep. So now I'm just <laughs> just me sitting alone in a be- in the living room watching this <laughs> man I, <laughs> romanticize I this cha- this boy. You and heard and it's all romantic and it's all like indie film with good uh, a- actors and like going. It's like. <laughs> it's all great and it's fun but it's it's it you had already told you told me that story and the funny thing about it and I'm just saying because it's like when you were explaining it to me you're like you were so you so wanted Kate to to uh to know that you were a thoughtful uh, right yeah academy award considering uh, yeah. Advocate of of the progress and the future, and that you weren't. I wanted that, to prove that you were afraid to like. You were like your eyes are glued on the screen, and she's behind you on the couch, and like, and so you're like, you don't. You're afraid to like, kind of like send any overtures of like of like looking at your I had to go to the bathroom but I held it in because I was like well if I get up now I'm I'm homophobic or <laughs> that's, whatever that's the so I'm gonna watch this really being uncomfortable and I'm just like I, I, you know and I look she's fast asleep she was probably fast asleep throughout the whole thing <laughs> she probably fell asleep she fell the crunch she pro- I, yeah. I, 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 it was a the funny thing about the movie was that I, I, I Cody and I kept going like well I, I get I, this might part of this exercise might be the, 17. The, that straight people are supposed to like experience like getting frustrated that, 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 that gay people haven't gotten down yet because we were like we were like if this was you, you, the, the broke back guys would be on their third broke back by now it's, it takes them two hours to 
to break a back to to to, yeah. to, 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 to do it. I don't want to spoil Call Me By Your Name. I There's absolutely no question. Once in a while, a movie comes along where you're like, Jesus Christ, obviously the director's very talented. The actors are amazing. That kid is giving like the performance of a lifetime. Like And taking. Um, that's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, because that's just he's a, not funny. That's just a straight it's up. It's not funny. He says he's giving the performance of the lifetime, and he's taking the performance <laughs> of a lifetime. That's not funny. I'm just saying that's hack. Like, we gotta it's be. It's not hack. Yeah. You're smiling. Well, because I'm I'm smiling because you're yelling at me. <laughs> it's well, not <laughs> hack. It's brilliant. It's the funniest joke ever. Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> Find your camera. I've never, I've never, cameras. I've never wanted uh, more gay sex to happen more quickly in my in, in, in a movie in and my you life. You were just bored. That's what I'm saying. I was, I was just like, God, boy, they really. This is a slow burn. This movie. Have you guys ever been on a nude beach? Mm. Just topless. Just topless. Just the men. I think I like me oh. and my family <laughs> on vacation one time kind of stumbled upon one in Hawaii, and we just kind of hung a U-turn. Hmm. <laughs> Today I was in La Jolla. You know La Jolla? I do. Um, it's it's uh, Spanish for La Jolla. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. La Jolla Jackson. They have um, <laughs> Torrey Pines State Park has this, like, big, it's on the top of this big uh, cliff. Mm-hmm. And they do gliders. Like, people are paragliding and parachuting off this cliff. And we're at the top of the cliff watching these people jump off the mountain. Which was pretty cool. And we went, wouldn't it be cooler if we went to the bottom of this cliff to see the people jump off the hill? And we were like, sure. And we, we, <laughs> we hiked down this cliff to the beach. And as soon as we got on the beach, we realized everyone was naked. Even the hang gliders? <laughs> no, not the hang gliders. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. The important thing about the movie is that it introduces you to the emotional aspect of uh, sorry, the fact that I'm straight right. and I'm going like, hurry up and fuck each other Not already. I'm like, Man. oh, I want to define more ho- foot rubbing. It's a symbol for. I want to define homosexuality by the act. That's what that's what we've done throughout society because then we define it by the act and then we criminalize the act and all these things. It's like people can be in love. They are every day without anybody admitting it or knowing it or all those things. Like everybody's. I love that movie now. Or whew, good save. Side of me. <laughs> No, he, it was, he it was, was really underage. Long. He was underage. Yeah, I mean, Sorry. I'm not. I'm not going to say. Everybody any... goes, yeah, but it's France. I did find that kind of fascinating, though, because I, like, I, I'm very happy to be done with uh, have Milo Yiannopoulos be out of the picture. But isn't that kind of what he was uh, gay explaining on the uh, Rogan show or whatever? Like, what when he finally like we found his off switch, and his off switch was that he was technically in favor of whatever. Because wasn't wasn't his whole like monologue just about the fact that when you're gay because you're already taboo and you're not there is no prom night for you and there is no like rigorously set up rails to your sexuality that the way that you often encounter your 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 sexuality is through the indoctrination by by the uh, people uh, uh, like i i i, I, I couldn't loathe the guy more i'm so happy that something brought him down i just find it ironic that is that how it happens dan that's how it happens <laughs> that's not funny <laughs> <laughs> Dan and Milo. Have no. you guys ever seen videos of people skydiving n- naked? It's pretty funny because e- everything's just flipping and flopping and flying. So, so you went. Mine wouldn't. You I walked would, I, down. You're like. Mine would. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> hey, I was. Uh, you got those checking gi- out like got all, got those all the hang gliders. Balls. What are you? Yeah, your giant, your giant balls uh, skydiving, Spencer, yeah. would be a spectacle. I, I could use them as a parachute. You think you could? Did you oh, did yeah. you talk to anybody down there? Like one of those flying squirrel, like like Red Bull, like mm-hmm. like like wingsuits, so you could just I like stretch your balls up behind yeah, you I like could. a like a V wing and just and just land. Yeah, I could also stretch it over my whole body. My privates uh, like at normal room temperature power. look like a uh, big, uh, well you yeah, it's like a just a big pair of balls, and then at the top of them, it's just yeah. like a there's just a little. Just a little nipple coming out. Just a just fun a time, Harry. I'm just, uh, just like, hey, look, I'm not going to make a fuss unless anybody wants me out here. Do you, do you think your balls are doing your dick a disservice by putting that your dick into that high a contrast like because they're that big? Yeah, I can't tell if the yeah if it's an illusion that's like, wow, those are big balls, or 
but I've seen the photo of, that, that Cody took of you with your balls hanging out that we that we keep torturing Steve Levy with. Yeah, you think they're big? Your balls are the size of like, like, like lemons. Like, is that like, big? Like, huh? Is yes, that big? that's big. Yes, yeah. I mean, I would. I mean, lemons yes, big. bigger than mine. And they're certainly big for a guy whose dick is a nipple. Yeah, the, yeah. Because it's like, what is it. the point of this? Yeah. What is being generated in those balls? That's gonna like, like it all. It feels weird. It's like if uh, the fire department came up and they had like a giant water tank on their fire truck, and then they took out a little Capri Sun straw, and they're like, "Don't worry, ma'am, we'll have your, we'll have your house safe in a like second." The, you're like, what? It, I don't. I appreciate the effort, but it'd be like if the fire truck pulled up and they're like, "All right, let's get out the hose." Right, something like that. I don't know what the metaphor uh, is. I know it breaks down because it's like it's not a dick's job to like pour a bunch of cum into it. All right, let's. That's kind of literally uh, a dick's job. Let's uh, put out this uh, fire. Yeah. He's miming like a a, ho- a hose that's See, not it, long it's, enough. It's moments like this when I wonder why, more than ever, we don't get a bunch of uh, black women on our show to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> this, this seems like the perfect <laughs> platform <laughs> to discuss I will, issues. It's the perfect I'll, segue to Dungeons It was and supposed Dragons. to be. I'll book a black woman for sure. If not next for week, Steve. No, no, it's Sklar, Sklar's are next yeah, week. Yeah, there's always a next week. The with week this after, guy. I will have a it's great black woman. Always the week after. It was just 9 11. I bet I could oh, wear shit. this chair. It's 9 11. No, it's 9 12 now. It's 9 12. It's 9 12. It's 9 12. I don't He's, want... Uh, this can't... This can't oh, no, this don't is do gonna, we're going to have no, to no, call no, the no, fire no, this department. No, 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 this is a bad idea. Please do it. Don't, don't ever stop doing what you're doing. Where's church when we need it for photos? Oh, Chris, fun. can you 3D print a saw? <laughs> yeah, we're going to need one. All right, Shrab has shoved his head through the back of a folding chair. And for real, like, I saw it go through, and I, you can tell it won't it's come off. It's not going to come off. Because his ears are like the, uh, the, 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 that's how arrows are designed. Like, the, <laughs> you can't, you're not supposed to be able to pull an arrow out. The metal tubing that's used to form the structural frame of the chair is not strong enough. Like, it would be easy to cut, but it wouldn't be comfortable to do so. But also, what you can't see, even in photographs, is the fact that, it, you know, everyone not had to photograph it because... It was clearly an act that was done for, you know, like there was no reason for him to do it. It just. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's drinking a cup that was placed on the chair like a cup holder. We had to wear furniture for shirts. Oh, that would be crazy. <laughs> it would be just like this, I think. But, that, but that's great because you can put your drink down right by your face. It would make sense, like in, a, in an apocalyptic world, because there would be no place for anyone to uh, uh, sit down right before the apocalypse, and then there would be like a bunch of empty chairs because the apocalypse happened, but there'd be nobody <laughs> making clothes, and then so everyone's walking around wearing chairs and couches and stuff. You guys, yeah, like all, all the rich people will be wearing barrels with suspenders, but this is like a, this is a very poor. You guy guys, to... you guys are laughing at me, but I'm all ready for for like Mad Max Road Warrior, like yeah. <laughs> Like everybody's like, you know, like I'm like the gyrocopter guy. You I think I think your Mad Max character will be called the chairman. Yes. The chairman. All right, stockholders. <laughs> grab your primary shares. There's going to be a merger of blood. Right, okay, right, okay. Well, what do we have here? Oh, it's the chairman. Look here, look, we got ourselves some gasoline, don't we? <laughs> oh! The chair recognizes cottage! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm gonna be taking a vehicle from you now, there, Mr. Midday. <laughs> oh, well, I'm very tired. I gotta take a load Uh-oh. off. <laughs> You uh, have my attention. What do we have going on over here? Oh, shit! The oh. chair recognizes... <laughs> Shh. Stool. <What>? Stool. Stool. <laughs> Stool head. Stool. <laughs> Stool head. What he lacks in imagination for names he makes up for in blood. <laughs> when you're born with a fucking stool on your head... You don't got to. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I knew, we for knew real, it. I knew his we head knew wasn't it. coming out of there. For real, we, we have knew to like, it. fucking. Why, why don't we table this meeting until tomorrow? 
Seriously, <laughs> we've, got, we've got a safety issue. Uh, he's trying right. to hold his ear this, no, wait, there, flat enough against his head with his hand, which makes his him. head twice as wide. He's, he's going to rip his ears off. Oh, yeah, don't help what? him. Don't <laughs> help him. Helping him is hurting him. <laughs> what if you well, tuck the chair? I mean, okay. Can you, okay. Can you tuck the chair? Well, at least mic him. Mic him for the free <laughs> listeners. They might be inspired to subscribe. <laughs> He's past the ear. By the way, this is brought to you by Quip Toothbrushes, the toothbrush that vibrates oh, when you use it. Quip Toothbrushes right. come with a suction sticker thing. It goes in your mirror. They so you stick can pull right it out to the, the mirror. Holster. There's no dirty charger. Movie. They said it couldn't be done. He's out. And so are your teeth uh, if you don't use Quip. I Quip. wore a chair as a shirt. That's what it would be like if people wore furniture as clothes because they ran out of clothes. Listen, man, I've been a listener of your podcast for a long time. Yeah, I have. I would like a refund. Rob's got the mic. Oh, shit. That's Oh, it's not. Hey. Rob, talk oh, into Rob. it. Hello. Hi. No, I think it might be Levy. Hi. Hello. What? No. Hello. Oh, hi. no. What about that one? Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, hi. Hello, hello, hi. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned it all the way down, and the result is Rob sounds like Paul Rudd. What? Hello, hi. <laughs> all right. That was I don't good. work good with magic. You're going to get John Mayer up here and fucking put furniture on and fucking yeah, do a Mad he, Max I bet you, he, I bet you he, would, he would stop just short of putting it on, uh, wearing a, a chair as a shirt. I think it was antics like that that got him in that hot water in the first place, and he's now he, he, he doesn't have the courage to, to start wearing furniture on podcasts. I'm touched by your envy. I wish you could express it in a more healthy way than attacking I, him I, or I, me. I, I, I think it's nice that 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 I I I I I I had a brief moment of friendship with a guy that you know like la laugh all you want. I think we'll make more. <sighs> you guys are still friends, I think. Yeah, but I probably already smothered him by mentioning him too much during my workout. Yeah, he I'm hated in that. In shit now. Got dust all over oh got boy! Oh, oh you got head. lacquer all over yes. your back. Back lacquer. You got backer. you got st st stool resin. <laughs> uh, I don't think yeah. you guys really gave my character stool head the uh, time to really flesh that character out. I think it was the highlight of the evening. <laughs> I think we did a lot of things wrong tonight. That was probably number fifty on the list. I, I don't I don't I don't regret a goddamn bit of it. I think people uh, at NASCAR people go to NASCAR every week. What's that? Cars running in a circle. You're only really there in case there's a crash. Like no one wants to admit it. Sometimes there's a crash. Sometimes a crash is exciting. You know what are you gonna watch? A car go around in a circle faster? Whatever. Like I'm not being defensive. I'm saying to our subscribers, I think this was worth it. I think it this, this, this it. has been a fucking Japanese jet train to fucking fun town. <clears throat> yeah. What time is it? Usually the clock's there. Let's I wore hit these the glasses beat. just so I could read the clock. What? Hit the beat. What? D and D? No. It's it's nineteen. It's it's nine. It's nine nineteen right now. That seems like a uh, a good solid time to play D and D for. Let's do this. Let's do it for real. Oh shit, Spencer! You got the uh, you got the folders. You got the goods. I will. You got the mats. Mats. <sighs> Spencer got the mats. Matza. Matza. How uh when you. Uh, how uh, do you guys celebrate the Jewish festivals like like in full Jewish fashion? Do you guys like really like keep the the, sh the Shabbos and the Shabbos and the whatever you call it? The Shiva, the Shiva. <laughs> I'm making things up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Are you guys are when people the, die. By the you Shabbos. guys, did you mean the Jews? Yeah, he yeah. Did. Levy, what's a Maccabee? The, the Maccabees are the 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 like army. Well, they, the, they were the, like the warriors, soldiers. Right? Yeah, the warriors. And they ki they kicked a bunch of ass. Yeah, they did, yeah. It's extra. Are you keeping something yeah, from us? No. What does he know that... I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't think we ever learned about um, Dave Matthews' band, which was the whole premise of bringing Steve up. <laughs> Where what did you get what the did name from? 
They got the name because uh, so Dave was a bartender at this bar in uh, downtown. Oh, Matthews Mall, Charlottesville. It's called uh, the Miller, bar. Miller's Bar. Matthews. He's a bartender and uh, Matthews Bar. Everyone knew Dave because he was a friendly guy, and that was the local establishment. It's like the drawing room there, and um, people would play live music there, and he started playing and getting all these musicians to to play with them and they didn't have a name but people loved dave and the band and they were like oh you're going to see dave matthews band you know at the and then at tracks and they're you know that's just so it's, it's, stuck. After, it's after him it's stuck because they didn't have a name it was like yeah you know dave matthews from miller's he's his band is playing dave matthews band and you then you don't think that was his plan all along you don't think the bass player had ever said like maybe we should call it laser eaters and he was like, well, no. you know, it doesn't seem that organic to me. He was 16. I like that people keep calling The bass player was 16, and he dropped out of high school. Uh, you can't do that, man. Well, he's a Got millionaire. It. Well, does he know about geometry? <laughs> Probably. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Algorithm. Good luck. You know, before I forget, in case the uh, because in case D and D switches. Also, wait, away. wait, wait. I want to say something. Dan, Steve, l- licensed Ants Marching, a Dave Matthews Band song, for the finale of season five, Community, and it's probably the best directed, use of directed Dave Matthews Band song outside of maybe. I think it's better than Crash Into Me and Lady Bird, um, but it was an incredibly Whoa. effective, amazing moment for 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 Greendale Community College. Everybody coming together is a perfect, perfect. Perfect drop. Remember, remember doing that episode, Dan? Yeah, a little bit. I have some flashbacks. Yeah, I remember the D- Dave, whoever the rep was, going like, "Okay, the uh, we watched the episode where you guys referenced us. The price has gone up because ass crack band. Number one, you need us. Number two, you're making fun of us." So I think I that will be eight dollars a song now. Thank you very much. And we were like, "Ooh." Well, I always wanted the Ass Crack Bandit to be Dave Matthews after you had um, Ben Folds in there. I think that's what the it canonically was was Dave Matthews. Do you think is it if we if we if we title the episode "Worst Episode Ever"? Will will it then become the best episode ever? Because people go like, well, then they called it the worst episode ever. We should title the episode, I Feel Like a Bag of Smashed Assholes. <laughs> How's it going? I was going to go with Cheapy Peepy, but... Cheapy Peepy! Cheapy Peepy. Cheapy Peepy. Cheapy Peepy, oh, your I, time see, I, has I, come. I, I write things down. I, I wrote next and to it, you know I wrote, money is a river, it's frothy. Own. And then right next to it, I'm not a cheapy peepee. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. I don't, I'm I've not. never called you. Yeah, Jeff never called you a cheapy peepee. No, pee-pee. it was Deal all Dan. Do you think when they were writing Sister Christian, was that warrant? Uh, why do I think Church knows that? Do you know? You, you don't know. No, that's uh, a night ranger. Ranger. Night ranger. Night ranger. Ruh. Sister, they're like Sister Christian. Oh, your time is coming. Then they're like, and they get to the refrain, and then somebody was like, I don't know, you motoring, <laughs> motoring, what? What's your price for flight? What's your, yeah, that's what. And someone was like, What do you mean motoring? And it's like, Well, what's your price for flight? I motorin thought this was, was about nuns. <laughs> motoring was a guy that they knew. I can't believe that you thought Warren wrote that because they're famous for She's My, my Cherry Pie. Yeah. yeah, they're the worst. They're the worst. I love them, but they're the worst. Well, how about the great thing about the past is it all runs together like a big fucking sad pudding. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's your title. <laughs> Thank God. You, you never hear that like NPR thing about Let's the call people. the episode Sad you know, Pudding. The, you always wish you could remember everything, and then they uh, those people that have like crazy memory, like they can't avoid their memory. Like, like apparently Mary Lou Henner is one of them. They're so fucking sad. They hate their lives because they can never forget how it felt to be a shitty boyfriend or a, on that fifth relationship in. Like there's uh, so much Lou shit Henner that you want to forget. Such a shitty boyfriend. <laughs> That's she's like, like uh, she's got like, every day. She's like waking up, 
That's what PTSD is, is I think. Well, is. the reason she doesn't have a podcast is because two weeks from now, she'd still be remembering this episode, whereas I'm going to be like, I don't know, maybe let's have Duncan Trussell back. Fucking Seems awful. like a fun thing. Oh, yeah. You piece of shit. But How? I'm just saying, like, we think that, because the uh, only time that we realize that we can't remember stuff, we feel weak. It's like not being able to lift something. So we go, I wish I could lift everything. But there are people who can lift everything memory-wise, and they're, 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 it's kind of a bummer for them. I, I'm, look, I'm, I'm re-looking to my spell list, Spencer, and I, just, I didn't realize that I have reduced animal. And it says, shrinks down one, all caps, willing animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to f- how, do I, how, how do I know that there's consent from an animal to shrink that animal down? Oh, if you have to ask, I mean, right. come on. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. No, I mean, you're a druid. You can you can uh, yeah. get a sense of animals. Well, uh, yeah, because maybe what if it's one of my nature's allies? That, that, yeah, that, 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 that's He'd an ally. Probably love to be reduced. Yeah. Let, well, let, let's do it. Let's, well, yeah. there's no there's no there's no rush really. Uh, I, I I have another question as well. Wasn't I almost dead? That's yeah. all I remember. I yeah, was, I never really. I I think I was down to two hit points. Do you need I some healing? You were as we crawled out the window of that of that pub, and then are we at my house? Yeah, and then we dragged um what was his name the guy Shrove Shrove to. There was a guy shambling Gary shambling sh- Gary, Gary, Gary shambling Gary shambling, Gary shambling. Like beckoned to us and took us through a crack in the wall. Yeah, and to took a us, crack in the wall. Took us to a place. Yeah. Okay, is that? I, I guess you could take it from there. That's what I remember. Yep. All right, Spencer, do you want to let her rip? In the glass. Or, or did we already just do it? Do you, you want to give us a, a proper uh, caption? I'll do it. Not caption, but recap, rather. Last time on Harmon Time, our heroes went to Dornester on the quest for Patchen's Gem. They were searching for information and they went to the Church of the Body Temple and then another church to look for clues. And acting upon those clues, they went to the theater where they heard the name of one person, Shrove. So they went in search of that person and they caught him out with his pants down, literally, because he was in the bathroom. They burst in in the bathroom, causing a scene immediately and a near riot as enemy combatants flooded into the magically darkened bathroom until our heroes beat a hasty retreat with their quarry in tow. Trying to extricate themselves from the mob, they didn't try hard enough and the mob was on their heels. But then Chad shot fire and started a fire and then uh, Carlos uses sol- uh, used his solar flare to cover their escape, which was also aided by the random addition of a shambling mound. Together, they traveled to a pig farm and at hiding behind a broken collection of bits of wall, they hunkered down with their still unruly unwilling hostage shrove what would happen I don't know find out today whoa so I'm uh, making some green tea if you guys want anything thanks Gary Shambling okay Uh, put the kettle on for four, four, four cups Four cups? I, I would adore a cup of tea. Thank you. You got one cup? Two? Yep. Two? Yeah. Can we make it an a, even three? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's get back to interrogating uh, this guy. Yeah. Uh, Spencer, what state is Shrove in? Like, what do we have? What happened? Are we... Is he locked up? Is he... Uh, I don't think he's locked up. I think Dan has had him... Uh, Kind of grappled to some extent. I want to. I feel like I remember, and if it's only in my head, like I'll. Re, re, I, I, I want to secure him. I want to. I want to like uh, ligature him. What? I want to tie him up. Do you own rope? You could have mine. Thanks. Are you good at tying with this? As 
good as anybody else. Well, probably better than me. Just what right. I, I haven't spent ten years in a library. So while about knots. while Carlos is holding him, I tie him up with my rope. All right, you do that. Hell yeah. All right, Shrove. We are in the quest for Patchen's gem. I know you don't know it as Patchen's gem. <laughs> you probably just know it as a gem. We got to go over this one more time. And make no mistake about it, there's only one way you're living through this, and that's if we get anything valuable from you at all. So you got to make shit up. If we've gone down the wrong road, you got to just make shit up. And you got to convince all of us. And believe me, that's a lot of sense motive. Uh, that's a lot of motive sensing. Uh, Gary, Gary, uh, I think your tea is on. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, ah, so, so here we go from the top. Where'd you get that robe? That bloody robe? It was in the theater. It was in the prop box where uh, new new costumes and stuff are put. In your opinion, why would that make its way into the prop box at a theater? Uh, hmm. Hey, uh, maybe le- someone didn't you, want, you want it anymore. lemon. You want lemon? I'd love lemon. You love it? Okay. <laughs> oh, another. Okay. Here, here you go. Can I you was raising my hand. Yeah, yeah get five. If you're having one, get five cups. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Maybe someone didn't want it. They were like, "I don't. I don't want this." And then they didn't know what to do with it. Who puts the it. new props in the prop box? Well, just people. It's kind of like... Uh, what people? <laughs> Theater people. Yeah, but there's not like distinguished positions? No, it's, it's like, like a, a donation. Take a, take a prop, leave a prop. Yeah. So let me let me just walk like through a this. Chip sword. Uh, a day in the life of a bloody robe. Uh, uh, I have a bloody robe. I drop it off on the stoop of the theater. Uh, Margaret grabs it, drops it in a box full of a mixture of clean, half clean, and blood encrusted clothes that people drop off on the stoop. And of that box, some of the actors pull it out, and use it as a scene in a in a theater performance. Some others pull it out and wash it so it can be used as a scene. And then there's guys like you, prominent figures of the theater, who decide to wear it. And then sell it to a homeless guy. I didn't wear it. Yeah, no, I gave it to a homeless guy who's notoriously naked in this town. I wasn't wearing it. I'm going to make some bread if you guys... You guys hungry for bread? Shrove, do you like bread? I... No. No bread? It's okay. Uh, I'm Okay, well, I'm putting it on. Pumpernickel? Yeah, it is. All right. Okay, cool. All right. This guy's excited. I'm going to... I'm gonna take a sidebar with my uh, with my friends. Okay, guys, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, and I, I, I think Do I. Do you did want it. me to talk to him? No, Gary. I, thank <laughs> you. No, thank Gary. Can you give us a moment? Oh, I. You said we needed to talk. My friends and I. So I'm so appreciative well, of you. Well, so I'm not. <sighs> I'm not a f- friend. Oh no, it's not. I that. gave you bread. It's <laughs> you already made it. I gave him bread. I gave you bread. This is my home. Gary, he means more like a, like work friends. Like this is a work. work this, fr- this, is, this is like a like a uh, this work. This is my home. This is a work <laughs> issue thing. We we have work work conversations to talk about. This is my time. home. Okay, Gary, Gary, you're you're in. You're in. You're in. G- come talk to us. I, okay, Just, we I'll love you, to. Gary Shambling. Thank you. But away from Shrove, I need to have a sidebar. Should I pull the curtain? Hey, yes. uh, hey, Gary, what do you know about these townsfolk? What do I know? Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> they're they're okay. When when they, they 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 don't really like like my kind, like the bread that I make. Carlos, why? Wh- what was the importance of the of the bloody robe? Because that was the robe that maybe was being worn by one of the butchered. You really it was Patchen's robe. You think I remember? I don't remember. It, oh, it was Patchen's robe, and they stripped it off. Oh, of oh, it. when when they fucked up Patchen's and they took his robe, and then someone just took it back. So that, yeah, that, that, that just might be a collection box for the theater. All right. Well, it's an inconvenient time for us to realize this. I sorry, 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 sorry. I gotta get the I bread. Thought you, I thought you had a hot, like you you had a hot lead. I didn't I didn't know what was going on. I thought I did too. 
Okay. And at the time, not to be defensive, but it seemed like everyone agreed. I, I walk back out and, uh, to where Shrove is, and then I sit down with my tea, and I say, Shrove, look, we're sorry to get, you know put you through the ringer on this one. If, if, if somebody was collecting any valuable gems, where, where, might, where might a gem be taken in this town? Is there like a, like a, like a place where, where like, that might be fenced or taken to, like sold in the black market or something like that? If someone stole a gem, it, they probably stole it for some reason, like... They had some plan of what to do with it. Yeah. You know? Have you heard any word in the street about stolen gems? No, I haven't. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I don't listen for that sort of do stuff. Do you know anybody that we might be able to talk to that might know know the the scoop on that? I don't know, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Shrove, who does the most donating of props? <laughs> Just the uh, you know the day players. All right, strip them naked. Strip them naked. Uh, 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 We're gonna let you go, but I'm looking in every fucking I, hole. I, I, I start, oh, stri- I, I start, stri- I start taking off Shrove's like, uh, uh, like uh, upper garments. The bread is finished. Thank you. We'll be with, right, we'll be right with you. I don't feel good about this. Thank you, this. Gary. We're Just stripping your, your friend. Even naked. if you have to bunch up your clothes around your waist because you're hogtied or whatever, you know, like I don't. Oh, uh, oh, ah. Uh, no, it's it's a oh. search. It's a search. It's a search. You're a shambling mound. What are you, all of a sudden, you're well. I know what a you, dick you, looks you, like. You're gonna high hat us all of a sudden. High hat, the you're man. Us the high hat. What are you guys doing? You didn't meet us at a polo match. We were dragging a bloody naked man down the street. Like, let us finish our business, or stop being a dick. Stop high roading us. Okay, I'm- well, fine. At least use a coaster. What is this? I start, God damn it! I start vigorously, water rings, vigorously patting down Shrove, looking for anything on his on his body or look at his person. Look at his fucking butt. Look at huh? it. Let's start. I'm going to start with the clothes. So let's cross the bridge when we get to it. You you remove his clothes and his his stuff. You find uh, he's he's under his clothes. He's got a big tattoo on his back. It looks like a crazy. Intricate, uh, like uh, kind of like a Celtic tattoo, like with uh, you know symbols and 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 kind of like glyphs and stuff. But it kind of forms the crude shape of a dragon. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. also uh, in his clothes, he has a bag of holding full of beef jerky, <laughs> and wow. um, a sack street. a sack of some money and a harp. Hmm. I take that bag of holding. All right. Wait. Are I, you uh, a are harpist? You, are you a bard? I I no I mean I'm a doctor I play music but you play the kind of music that raises the dead. Nah, you don't raise the dead with music. I guess people could raise. Well, because the dead I'm a druid them. and I, I'm not trained in the bardic art so much, but I, I appreciate a nice harp too. And can you can you uh, uh, w- 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 first of all, what's what is the meaning of this dragon tattoo on your back? Oh, it's just a birthmark. <laughs> it's just a birthmark. <laughs> yeah. You just ha- happen to have a, a, a birthmark of a dragon on your back. Some people do. I've seen that symbol before. <laughs> Tell us more, <laughs> Gary Shambling. It was, I saw it in a book. <laughs> saw it in a book. Let's see. Here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> It's no, 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 dictionary. Yeah. He Chris finds Shrove. a book labeled the 13 dragon marked houses. There we go. Here we go. Oh, a, shit. B, C, D, <laughs> right here. <laughs> Take a look at that. Whoa. Uh, the relevant lore is that the members of the dragon marked houses sometimes manifest dragon marks or birthmarks in the shape of dragons that they, they bestow magical affinity, but they... They they're like a bloodline sort of thing, so they indicate a bloodline in these dragon marked houses, which run the guilds. So is he druidic too? Uh, Maybe he could read. Our that's document. not what his birthmark says. You okay. don't know if he's druidic. So you're dragon marked. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying. I mean, it's yeah. No, it's I'm kinda, lying. Yeah. Do you speak the language of the guilds? Uh yeah. Well, it's like a code, but yeah. Should we show them? Yeah, let's show them the letter that we found on top of the on the banditos. Oh, right. Look, if uh. you could, if you could read this for us, we'll give you. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> we got him tied up and he's naked. The, the, read it for us. All right. It says, "The young one on the road outside of Rhone holds the purse. Top priority is the purse. Next top priority is kill them all. Drop point north, 4 a.m. Olorun nine. Olorun nine's a date." 
so, someone write that shit down, both yes, in real life. Someone writes yeah, it photographic down. Photographic memory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> say it back for us, shambles. <laughs> no, just give me. No, no, right, I don't the, want to. You said the, 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 the young amp. one outside the road on Roan is the, is the t- top priority? The young one on the road outside the Roan holds the purse. Now... Just for your memories, Roan's the starting village. Right. That's where they're, 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 This is the assignment. That's why they attacked us. The young right. one is Patchens. Wait, right. So we have a document that told us that the thing was going to happen that already happened? Yeah. It's, there, it's the, what you find on a hitman when they attack you. You find the note that says go attack them. All right. Keep going. Top priority is the purse. Next top priority is kill them all. Got it. Drop point north like a location. Drop ah. point north. And and the, oh, you just four a.m. T- Olaru nine, which is like a date and time. For, and is it has that date and time come yet? It's that day and not that time. How far away is it from now? It's soon. <laughs> Shrove, <laughs> Shrove, what, where is Drop Point North? Uh, hmm. I'm not telling you guys. Wait, well, Shrove said that. Yeah. What would it take for us to get you to tell us? We got some nice bread. I'm not telling you guys. We'll invest in your theater. You'll invest. Oh, sure. You guys don't have money. By any chance, does your order have anything uh, to do with integrity, honor, that kind of thing? Yeah, secrecy. Yeah. So, in other words, if uh, if you were to betray your order, you'd be a bad guy, right? Generally, yeah, yeah. So you'd rather get your throat slit. Protecting your order, right? No. Are you lying? No. But you wouldn't lie, right? Because you have integrity, right? You're not a common uh, bunch of thugs. You're you're you 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 you're you're genetically born like you're 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 dragon born. Not to. Ooh. In, in, I'm sorry. That's not. That's copyright. You're dragon. Something marked. Marked. Uh, let me ask you this: If it came to a choice between lying about flipping loyalties because some of your brethren had gone very bad, and protecting your bad bad brethren and paying for them with your life, what would be the more honorable dragon marked thing to do? Neither. Well, what do you want? I just want to, you know, hang out, just live my life. You want to hang out and not tell us who these guys are? Like where I don't know are. who these guys are, these man. These guys are terrible killers who attacked an innocent young man whose only job was to protect this gem. I, 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 you're not on the right side of history here. You're like I'm sorry, but that's why you've. You, I have two gold pieces. I, I offer. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that changes everything. How, no, the two gold pieces sweeten the pot, Shrove. Nah, I had three gold pieces before you robbed me. Well, now, now you'll have five. <laughs> You've done nothing but pretend to be someone else. Aren't you tired of living a lie? I belong to the Church of the Silver Flame. I'm just trying to redeem this countryside. I'm trying to do something right for the purifying flame before I die. I, we, we ran across this lad... He had a gem. He was supposed to protect it. We were assassinated. We were waylaid by horrible, backstabbing, dishonest bandits. Like, do you ally with them or the rest of the world? Yeah, kind of. That's our whole town. We're a bunch of ruffians and thieves and brigands and stuff. It's not great, but that's that's what we got, man. I use Intimidate. Where is it? <laughs> What's your Intimidate score? It doesn't list one. Really? Yeah, it has a check, but no... Thing. All right, what's your charisma then? Um, oh, no. Seven minus two. Oh boy, you don't, you don't, you're not convincing. Well, I mean, I, I, I turn to the side. Is it, is it, is it well lit? Is it dark? Where, where are we at? It's dark. It's dark and muddy. It's I, dark I, and muddy in a pig farm. I, I start to go. And I open my mouth, but like he can't see. I put my hand up to cast Firebolt. I make it look like it's coming out of my mouth like a dragon. I go, dragon fire! And I cast Firebolt to make it look like it's coming out of my mouth to impress him with his dragon mark guild thingy. It looks like it's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. And I go, hey, uh, I'll dragon your, your shit. 
through yeah. the mud. Magic exists. <laughs> huh? Magic yeah. exists. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd like that because I, I'm uh, I'm dr- I'm dragonic as well. Draconic, whatever you fucking whatever you like. I don't like that. I take uh, I take Gary Shambling aside. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, man. Shrove, you've done you've done enough. We just had to make sure we we knew everything you knew. We're just gonna relax and have some tea. Okay. Gary Shambling. Yeah. Uh, you want me to talk to him? Do you want to give our friend Shrove some tea and? Yeah. Do, do you have anything uh, that'll help him? Sm- uh, to to smooth the plow. Well. Do you have anything that'll help him tell the truth? And or do you have anything that'll just kill him? Um, I've got some vinegar and some solvents. All right. And well, we can light some candles. Okay. I thought maybe shambling mounds were more <laughs> plugged Lethal. into You the thought what? I don't know. I'd say it's fine. Just do you think I have a gun? <sighs> Diarrhea. Hey, come here for a second. Yeah. Do you have, do you have poison? Let me see. Might have some laxatives. Right. We could mix it with my vinegar. All right, let's just kill this fucking guy. Why you got none in my what? living room? Let's just kill him. Why, why are we killing this him? decision? Hey, just because he was ineffectual, or he can live with me. Well, he's if he's uh, if he's left alive, he's gonna go. He's counter to our mission. He's not gonna if go he's warn enjoying the rest himself. Of his There's only one reason he has to not tell us the drop point in this note, and that's because he doesn't side with us. He sides with these people that. Waylaid. Okay, let me suggest something. We can't leave him alive. Why don't you just leave him here tied up until after the drop point time and date? I don't want to offend you, Gary Shambling, but I I question your ability to maintain a hostage situation. I don't know if that's what you're cut out for. You're shambling, and you're a mound. Racist. I have a rust monster. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do in a short amount of time, and I think we should just step on his head until he's dead. He's been a terrible pain in the ass. He's withheld information from You're us. a terrible pain in the ass. No. I was just taking a shit. <laughs> I Listen, you had your chance to assess things and judge people. You've been bettered, and now you're about to die. That's how it is. You have to listen to us talk hey, about it. <coughs> you know, you guys are nice. I think you're cool. You drank my tea and you had some bread. Made a little bit of a mess. I guess I'll clean it up. But you can't kill him in my living room. You can't kill him in my living room. All I don't right. want a haunted. Where's living your room. kitchen? I, I, I summon nature's al- I summon nature's ally. Summon uh, squid. Thank you. Have a. Thank right. you. Do I have any more spells after this one or no? I think you've sum- haven't you summoned in nature's alley already? Put a bear already? in his toilet. You put the bear. Yeah. I don't think you have two, do you? Shit, I had such a good idea. Maybe you do. I was going to take a giant squid, shrink it down cuz I can shrink down uh-huh. animals. And I was going to put it like in his mouth or up his butt and and, and that was going to be like the worst to- like like Wrath of Khan <laughs> to put the bug in the guy's ear. Let me make a suggestion. <laughs> uh, would you consider a shambling mound an animal? Uh, a shambling mound is like a, it's <laughs> like an elemental or something. Exactly. Shrink me down. No, no, it doesn't count as an animal in that you sense. You said animental. All anim- right. <laughs> Let me try this. Let me just animal. try this. Can I try something? I, w- I thought the squid up the butt thing was pretty fucking gold. I don't I t- want I take my morning star uh-huh. and I just start hitting no, him in the head. No, you can't kill him in my living room. <laughs> Take him outside with the pigs. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want like a haunted theater person in my living room. I have to. I have to. I have people over. This is where I work. I work out of my home. It's a my mess roommate's about to come home. Who's your roommate? My rust monster. You have it's, a rust monster. I have a rust monster. It's part of my character that I'm unable to control myself at this point because I've 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 got a lot of toxic shame in me. <coughs> I've I I feel undermined by my own church. Well, and, uh, why don't you take some of your toxic on? energy and and my, clean uh, up after yourself? Oh, uh, uh, plus one. All right, you hit him for three damage. He yeah. leaps up and tries to dodge you out of the way, and as he does so, you realize that the uh, ropes were tied really loosely, and he was kind of he wasn't entirely bound so he kind of gets out of he wriggles free of the rope but in doing so is wanged in the head by you for three damage aha you pass the test you pass the test i open the window and i try to go get out like a bird like trapped in the house get out get out of here to him 
Yeah. Wait, Carlos, what was the test that he passed? Getting hit? That was nothing. I was trying to get him. Get him. Okay. Get out. Get out. Quick. I, I, I start whacking him in with my quarter staff. <laughs> All right. <coughs> like non-lethally, but just threat, like you know, just trying to, just trying to, you know, bruise him up some. All right, you hit him, but not, not substantially. It doesn't take any damage. Get out! Get you still, out! You still don't want to tell us where the drop point north is? You guys are the worst. <laughs> we know that. We know you that. Don't think we, we know, know that? that. We're hanging around at a pig farm with a shambling mound with a guy that probably has nothing yeah. to do with this. <laughs> yeah, we are the worst. Watch us try to keep you alive. Go run nice. out the window. I feel run really bad about window. what's transpiring just here. Just talk about it later. <laughs> I have a really great play about horses. Can, can will that you intrigue you? attack him? Will you please attack him? <laughs> I feel bad. I, I start whipping gold pieces at him. What? What? How many? Three. But right. really hard, like at his head. Because I feel bad, but I also don't want to disrespect my elder. All right, you miss. It breaks. It breaks the window. Ow! Oh, oh, what the? F oh fuck! That's all of you guys, right? All right. He 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 climbs out the window. All right. Thank all you. Right. Well, thank you. I'm you know, sorry. Thank you. Broke the window. Water rings. We gotta go find breadcrumbs. We have to go find drop point north, right? That, isn't that the thing? Al alternate pitch. We abandon the quest for Patchen's gem. Well, yeah. I mean, you guys do remember that crazy lady that burnt down the church originally? It was that whole other thing. What did, whatever we were, happened to that lady? We were bad There's the gargoyle Patchen's in the sky. has been telling us from the beginning, don't help me. I don't want it. You know? Wait a minute. I have an idea. What was that one thing? I had no use for it, but maybe you guys could. I found this map. I take the map. It's um, it's an old map. It has like ripped edges. Can I? No, read not it? ripped edges. Like burnt edges. Like it's from the past. Can I read it? Yes, it's written in English. I can only it's speak shambling. <laughs> what language? It's, it, it, it's in guild speak again. Yeah, I don't know what your Romulan language is. So I can't language. read it. You can can't. You, you can't just. Gary Shambling, can you read guild speak? No. I only can read shambling. That's why I'm giving it to you. It's pretty clear to me that we have fucked up in this town, and uh, we have never done anything right in any yeah. town. But I, 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 this shouldn't we? We shouldn't we? What? Shouldn't we just stake out the props box and see who's dropping stuff? Are in? you out of your goddamn mind, child? I, I tell you, we have fucked up in this town. We like everyone knows what we look like. We've attacked a popular man. <laughs> what so dragged happens? him to so a then, shambling mound. Then what hut. do we do? We, okay, we failed to interrogate remind, him. Just walk me back through it. Where where do we go back to to start getting Whatever back happened on to the track? I think we just wander the fuck out of here. I, we fucked up. We can't do where anything is in this Patchens? town. Where is Patchens? Is he here? Whatever happened to the music and you the don't undead know where Patchens walking is. around? Patchens is long gone. Patchens is sick. So of we're us. gonna go back to Roan with our tail between our legs. No gem. No. Nothing, oh. and we don't even know what we we alternate pitch. Okay, alternate pitch. The when map. the silver flame speaks to you, it speaks through burning. Destruction is one man's construction. The silver flame burns from the center of the earth outward. It creates infernos wherever you have constructed false realities. Perhaps we have spent this campaign learning that we need to wander the realm. While he's talking, I close my eyes, but I, using my little eye mark on my forehead that I never <laughs> use, I, I can still see him. This is a, this is a new shit. opportunity for us. We can't go back to work. We fucked up. We can't, we can't even freelance. We fucked up. We could wander, and we could do good for the church. Freelance. So Almost as if we'd have to walk into maybe new dungeons that we didn't... Fuck up and forget where we were going. We get on the road. Get on the road. We never look back. Who's Patchens? Pedal to the moon. Where's his gem? Fuck Patchens. Who cares? Hey, look. You know. Hey, you know, <laughs> maybe down the road. Maybe maybe we meet Patchens and find a gem. But that's not our fucking. For all thing. we know, but we're gonna do something so cool. Give me one second. <laughs> That the, 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 the Patchens is going to end up being wherever he is. He's like, oh, my God, I got my gym back. I have a feeling that's what we're destined for. Bigger things. Bigger things. We well, fucked up. Well, here. I can cancel a couple of meetings that I have this afternoon and, and pack a bag. <laughs> you know, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Let's do it, you know? Let's do it. I got a broken window. Winter's coming. All right. I'll be you back in a no, second no, no, here. All right, hey, p- right. pack up some of that pumpernickel and then maybe a flask of that you tea. Got it. You got I it. say, you, you got know it. what? I've never been more excited in my life. Yeah. I I've never felt it. more just, positive. This is great. You know, I think we're going to look back on today and go, that was the beginning yeah. of us doing this. Yeah, it, the, the adventure is not about someone else's gem. This is about the, our, this is yes. our own adventure. Yes, yeah. it's not yes. about doing things right. Yes, it's not about knowing things and keeping track of things. The great yes. adventure. This is gonna bite us in the what ass. Lies ahead. All right, hats, hats on. All right, everybody, everybody gets a hat. Every, <laughs> everybody gets one. <laughs> But, uh, Everybody gets a hat. All right. Ooh, I like that better than my hat. Yep. That's right. nice. Ooh. Here we go. Is this felt? Right. It is it's now. Na- <laughs> Mines of velvet. <laughs> All right. Well, we better We're, get the fuck out of here. Is that Shrove here. talking? No, Shrove left. Oh, Shrove left. Oh, okay. We need a name for our troop. Uh, the uh, evacuators. Right. The evacuators? <laughs> yep. All right. Hey. How about the f- quitters? <laughs> By any other name. How about... Hat Squad. Uh, bad pitch. How about um, the stool heads? No. You know, we've got our G- whole adventure to come up with a name. Yeah, let's let's, let's talk about put, it at our first let's campfire. Do, let's not do what a lot of other groups do and make, they make a big mistake by trying to come up with their whole brand. Let's hit the road. Before they find out what the brand is. And we'll, One and we'll, foot in front of the other. We don't even know if we're going to get along. We might even yep. rejigger the whole hierarchy once we, we might, get out of here. Let's get out of here. Jigger and the whole see thing. where the silver flame leads us. Let's All see right. where it is. What, what, <laughs> where, uh, I, I, uh, I go into a druidic trance. And I try to talk and like communicate with the with the god of the silver flame, Spencer. Okay. And I, I ask, oh, what's the, what's the, what's the, uh, the 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 spirit that we talked to the girl? It's kind of like the embodiment of this silver flame. What? I forget. Her. What are you talking about? Like, there's there's some, isn't there some sort of person that like when you when you pray like you kind of like communicate with with a certain voice? The yeah, the silver flame. Okay. I yeah, but there's that Joan of Arc figure that. There's that young woman that, right, originally like merged with the silver flame itself. That yeah. Okay, but I can just talk directly to, to the silver flame. I don't need any intermediary. You don't need to. You don't no, need she to know became her. Part of it. Oh, silver flame. It's Daphne. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's I. I do that sometimes. We are but humble servants, failed in our attempts to please you and to purify this land of evils. We seek forgiveness. Guidance. Mm-hmm. That was just it. That's I only had two. Oh, I said we just, it just let's just go. Let's well, just, let, let, give me. Let, let, uh, like, I, I wait. I wait to see if I hear any guidance. Like, like okay. give us, give and us a Shrove point is, of departure, a, a destination, and... like a first stop on this on this new, like this new line of of, of adventure and 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 conquest of evil through, throughout your domain. You don't you don't really get any sense. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's just go <laughs> away from the town where we're wanted so, by yeah. the. What if his gem's everybody? just in the pawn shop? I just let's just get out of here. All right, just because it's okay. Let's uh, let's let's we got our hats on. Hats on. Shambles. We Lock. got we got the uh, locking got the, it up. We got the bread. We got some snacks. I got some snacks. For I mean, if road. you want to check the gem shops, and then we'll we can meet you. We'll meet you up the road. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me just check them out. Okay, well, we'll meet you. Sometimes thieves try to pawn off their stuff, you All know? All right, well, we'll meet you by the... Learn uh, that lesson in San Francisco. Just start heading... Uh, we'll head north. North. Okay. And we'll meet you. We'll meet up with you. Go check those gem shops. All right, let's go. Let's get the fuck out fuck. of here. We got to get the fuck out of here. We're in big trouble. So we we just we just left Diarrhea Junior behind in a pawn shop. Spencer, I'm going to the pawn shops. All right. He kept. Uh, he goes to the pawn shop. You go to the pawn shop. There's not a pawn shop so much as there is a guy with a guy. <coughs> excuse me. So much as there is a guy with a merchant stall full of garbage and shit. <laughs> hey, uh, merchant guy. Do you got any gems? Hmm. Nah, man, gems are expensive and they're not very useful. That's we don't really get that kind of stuff around here. Who who does get that kind of stuff? I don't know, man. Like uh, investors, like rich people. Where do I find the rich people? 
Not here, man. This is Poorsville. <laughs> but where's the Richsville? All over the universe, I'd imagine. D- DJ! <laughs> well, we're on the road. I know, but I'm just yelling, DJ! Yeah. Yeah, maybe don't. Is there I mean, another place I could look for a g- to someone selling gems? Where do people go to sell their gems? It's 10 o'clock. That, uh, people can go wherever they want. You know, maybe they've... Uh, Maybe they make agreements with people to buy and sell gems, and then they go in accordance with those arrangements. It's very nonspecific. All right. Or is it very specific? Hmm. Well, I'm going to miss that kid. Yeah, me too. I hope we see him again. Do you have any cool things I could buy? <laughs> yeah, man. Split what you got? this out. What? What is it? It's a magical spray. Hell yeah. What does it do? And knocks you out. He sprays it in your eyes. Oh, jeez. Cliffhanger! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> it? All right. <laughs> Thank, you everybody. Thank you, everybody, so much. Let's hear for Steve Levy, Diarrhea Jr., who's clearly going to be waylaid by some garbage dealer. Yeah. Also, before I forget, I wanted to thank uh, not just... Uh, Rob Chancho makes a lot of our music, but also the music I'm playing right now by a fellow named Nick Vandenberg, who's uh, provided lots of music through through Harmontown throughout the uh, months and years. Wanted to say thank you for him again. Give him a shout out. Rob Schraub, everybody. The one and only Rob Schraub. Speaking of shout outs, how about uh, a shout out to the happy new union of Chris Bereff and Sarah Hill, our newlywed uh, Chris Bereff and Sarah Hill, our very own newlyweds. Congratulations, Mazel Tov. They also got married on top Zach of a church, of course. Chris, uh, Kevin Day, Nolan, we got everybody here, right? I think uh, we love you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, drive fast, take chances. I'm Jeff Davis, your comptroller, your mayor, Dan Harmon, Spencer Crittenden, your game master. See you all next time. We love you. Rob's gonna dance us out. Shambling mound, shambling mound. Oh, he's a shambling mound. Gotta get the Chamberlain Mound. He's gonna come back on Harmon Town. Well, there's a week. brand new dance called the Chamberlain Mound. It's going all the way across Chambletown. <laughs> he made himself a character on the campaign trail, and Steve Levy got abducted because he didn't want to leave town. Mound, Chamberlain Mound, Chamberlain here, Chamberlain. Oh, mound. a little bit of a hand bone there. Oh shit, we're gonna do. It. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.